Hello, hello. Sorry for starting late. Hi, everybody. Hello. To our second stream of Doctors and Dungeon Masters Stream City, I am Kelly Bryovic. Uh, PhD student in Plan H at the English Department at UWM. I'm Ryan House, uh, also a PhD student in Plan H in the English Department at UWM. Uh, I'm Corey Hernai, uh, Plan C, Poetry. I'm also playing the Rogue. Oh yeah, we forgot to say who we are. Oh yeah, I'm playing the Druid. Um, What's his name? Boggy. Bog. Bogris. I'm, I'm the Franz. And I'm uh, PhD, Plan H, Eric Kirsting. I'm playing the Warlock. I like your haircut. Uh -huh. Oh, it's not haircut. And what's oh, their I like name? your hair up. It's, uh, Frank, Francis? What's your name? <laughs> not even. It's derivative of my that. name. Oh, yeah. Do we have any announcements? I'm just going to get my character up on this. Uh, no, but I, I would like to have a recap. So if each one of you could uh, give a, you know, you know, Ryan start off with how we, how we started the last adventure. Oh God, okay. Corey continues, and then Eric will close up where we ended. Right. So, this so we met up with um, a couple of brothers. One was uh, quite nefarious and quiet. Um, they, ha they had a, a problem with their mansion being overrun with some kind of magical beasties. And they asked us to uh, take a look at it, Ghostbuster style. <laughs> um, and bust some ghosts. Yeah, and so we um, went into the house. We took, we kind of scoured everything. We came across uh, a young thief and was able to get him out almost unscathed. And then we descended into the basement. And once we were in the basement, we met two shadows who were the gr grandparents of the uh, brothers. We killed those shadows because oh, yeah. they were unholy abominations. <laughs> um, and then we, uh, that's where we left off. We went, we're getting ready to go talk to, um, go, uh, one of them, I think it's me, right? No, no, no I think it's Corey. Corey's gonna, we're gonna, um, I think, stay in the house, set up an ambush. Yeah, we haven't really. I thought it was me who was gonna go back and talk to them, but I don't. I thought know. we were all going back. No, no, I think you were higher in charisma, right? Or I have the highest maybe? charisma. I believe. Oh, yeah, not well, then maybe it was you. I am probably, hopefully, the highest dexterity. Mm -hmm. Um. So, if uh, if you're splitting the party, I guess we're gonna have to. Uh, you guys converse with yourselves and what you plan on doing in the time that um, Eric will be addressing the two brothers. However, it probably will take about a day's journey for him to get there oh, and wait, back. Wait, a day's journey there and back? Oh, I man. thought they were like at an inn like a mile away. Well, I, think... I could have sworn it was like, you know what, you're, you are right. Because it was like an, an hour or so. Yeah. So never mind. Not so to be like an overnight thing. Ish. Not to metagame. Uh-huh. But yeah. would it make more sense for us to just as a group all go only send him in and we can kind of like be hidden. Hmm. Because there's really no reason for them to come back to the house. I'm not sure. They live there. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I mean, I thought we were, I thought the point was that we were going to dispatch these nefarious <laughs> necromancers. One of them we know is at least, an, we don't know about the other. And the, uh, the seclusion of the manor seemed a better place to do that than in the middle of the night. We, we really just started sort of discussing this mm -hmm. when we ended, so we never really set up a plan. You you want to do this in yeah. character instead? So, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think in character. I am doing it. Oh, yeah, let's do this in character, you guys. Yeah. As you say it in character. <laughs> I'm totally uncomfortable with this entire situation. I'm, I am freaked out by that guy, and... I don't even know, like, what do we want to do? We burned all the proof. So I think, what do you guys want to do? I know. Go ahead. Well, I was going to say, before before we do anything, before we leave, I have uh, an interest in uh, looking through some of their business journals. I don't know what business people keep. Ledgers. Well, what are you looking for? I'm looking for um, some mention of business practice, in uh, specifically in relation to 
Dumpage. <laughs> Dumpage. It's a technical word. Pollution. And dumping pollution. I like dumpage. Mm. Okay, I'm not exactly sure. Are we getting um, into waste treatment? What you mean there, friend? What? What? It's 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 okay that you don't know what I mean. I feel like I, I feel like I, we should know what you're meaning. <laughs> I'm I, I'm interested in these people's business practice. They're they're um obviously. What do you hope not to do with this information? Oh, I learn more. Learn more about the accident. Okay. Accident. What What do you mean accident? This accident. This and wasn't a, an a accident. Gesture towards. Were you not planned? My 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 looks. Are you here? Who are you? <laughs> the, what's well, this omniscient ah, voice? You mean sorry. the way you look? You don't. You weren't. You didn't always look like that, eh? Well, of course, I didn't always look like this. What did like, you used to look like? Just there. like a normal. Uh, Person, a normal, half elf person. Yeah. I was made to look like this, and I don't know who is responsible, but I know some corporation. So you think they're associated with a corporation? Oh, I know they're associated with a corporation. Corporation right? isn't a ye old word. <laughs> are we are we doing like Captain Planet stuff now? Well, no, we don't have any rings. No. <laughs> um, my only concern is, what reason are you going to? Even, could we even give those brothers to like you to walk back with them to this house? Because it was the arrangement was we were supposed to go there, get payment. They have the money. Well, you could always you could always feign. They're uh, holding down the fort. Now you come and give us our money when we get back. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Easy peasy. That could work. They might not have the money on them. They might have to stop at a bank too. Okay. Okay. All right. Do we? So, are we going to kill these people? I don't think it's a. Uh... Or we just want more information about what they're doing here. I don't think it's a uh, necessary to kill them, especially the little one who didn't doesn't seem to know about this. There's a reason that door was locked to the downstairs. Well, maybe we should maybe we should present our findings to not that we have anything to present now, but. Let the little one know what the big one's up to. Let's see what kind of uh, interaction that sparks and go from there. You know what? I don't really think we need to get the authorities involved. Yeah, let's oh, not no. use that. No, no, no. I think, you know what I want to do? I, you guys can disagree, I suppose, but I want to uh, I want to scare them straight. Okay. That's what I want to do. Well, yeah, that's the end goal here is that they stop doing this. Yes. If they if continue they... being rich pricks, there's not much I can do about that. But I don't want to see these. I mean, there's something you can do about Well, I, I'm just, I don't want to let you guys know. I've been through a couple uh, scared straight programs, as they might call them, and uh, <laughs> didn't work. Like, what are, what are we going to do? Keep, t like, tabs on them? Are we going to dedicate uh, our lives to checking in on them? Was the people I, who scared you straight, you know, could they uh, do they magic? <laughs> could, they, could they beat people with an inch of their life? Could they kill a bunch of their zombies and their parents, their shadow parents? I'm going to say, we're dealing with, we're not dealing with just like getting kids out of trouble. We're dealing with someone who is doing some weird, freaky stuff. So I, I, I can't even wrap my head around right now. I'm just saying, we could be getting in over our heads. And just scaring them straight, I don't think is going to do much. I mean, if these people are as rich and powerful as we think they are... Then... I don't think they're powerful. I think they have some money. That's what they got. Well, clearly powerful. We just dealt with their gra dead grandparents. Ah, so... Dead yes, parents. that they... Parents. That the dead parents, yeah, that they couldn't control themselves. They kept locked in a basement. We were much more powerful than them, clearly. They couldn't even deal with the skeletons in the closet. True. That's true. But they might have powerful friends uh, back to that uh, ye old corporation. Right? The conglomerate of... Okay, why don't you go look, find whatever thing you want to find out about yourself. I don't think that they were involved, but go ahead, figure that out. I will. I will wait, and then we'll make a plan from there. Okay? Well, we, well, we can make the plan. We can make the plan now. Talking. No, let's I, do it. I, would that information change the plan? Because I don't want to make a plan, and then you find out something, and you're like, now the plan's changed. Then we waste all this time making a plan. 
Meanwhile, Fair daylight's burning. Okay, so I'm going to go back to okay. the small office, right? Because okay. I think that guy might have more uh, uh, issues with the business then. Uh, which small office are you talking about? Not the one with the secret door. Al's office. Okay. So the nicer brother? That's Al? Yeah. Okay. yeah. It's right, been so two weeks, we... everybody. <laughs> yeah, it's been a minute. Yeah. It froze the memory out of us. Uh, so what are you going to do? Uh, what do you... Tell me how you're okay. going to... Okay, so... And are, is anyone going to help him, or are you going to be doing... Hmm? Just, yeah. Oh, so we get the chat. Oh. oh, nice. Oh, I, nice. I oh. said hi to the chat. I got excited, but then I realized it was just us. We're talking to ourselves. Yes. But this is also recorded, is. so, you know, mm -hmm. this is going to be wonderful. Okay, so while we were going through and killing the zombies, I, uh -huh. I happened to notice uh, some diaries about changing business practices and yada, yada, yada since, since the meeting. So I'm just wanting to, to, to learn more about that. Okay. Um, I, don't, I don't even know what company uh -huh. this is or... Mm -hmm. I don't know anything about it, right? Talk. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to uncover. Okay. <laughs> Discover. Okay, so do a um, do an investigation check because I imagine you're investigating like a bookshelf or his through his desk or something right. like that. Right. Yeah. All right. So then you would. Do you have proficiency? Uh, what no, proficiency? Okay. I don't. I have uh, perception, uh, perception proficiency, but that's okay, about so. it. 19. Okay, you don't have to add with that. Okay, cool. so with that, um, you find uh, some, a uh, kind of like a, um, a bookkeeping thing of uh, account balances. Okay. And you notice that like three years ago, it was fucking good. And it's just been going down and down and down ever since to the point where they're spending more than they're making. Okay. Um, but about, I would say like, Maybe a yearish, um, they started a, a hard turn, where the whatever they did made the 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 disparity, the discrepancy, less and less. So okay. they were spending more than they were making, but they now they're it's it's less bad at this point. Okay, are they um, still? But in the red? still bad. They're still in the red, okay. but they're not as in the red. But they're they're making money. No. No. They're they're, they're cooking the, the books. <laughs> And the well, means well, they're not making money. <laughs> well, no, no, they could losing, be making money. They're if they're in the red, they could still be making money and still be in the red, right? Okay. Maybe they're starting. Well, they could be making. The they're starting red. to make it up. Well, they're they're not making it up so much. They're just not hemorrhaging money okay. as much I as see, they used. We're to. English students, not economic <laughs> Their students. revenue <laughs> is yeah. less than their costs. That's what in the red means. Mm -hmm. Yes. If your revenue is more, then no, I know that. Yes. Okay. What I'm trying to understand is what you're. Getting at. Okay. But pretty much, they used to be s spending a lot more than what they were making, and now they're just spending a little bit more than what they were making. Okay. So there was a business change of some sort that created that. Okay. Um, with your 19, you were able to dig a bit deeper where there used to be highly vet. There was a lot of time spent vetting the companies, not just for um, profitability, but also for you know, what, how can this help grow the community? How can this build a bigger thing from okay. this? That vetting process stops after the brothers took over. Ah, uh, okay. So, that's what you get with your 19. All right, cool. And it just... Do, I, do I have a name of the company? Can we just make one up? Uh, Double W Investment. Okay. Incorporated. <laughs> Wait, can, can you <laughs> spell that out, the first part? W W. Okay, I thought it was double space W. But they call them double W's because it's two W's. Double W's. Okay. W U's. Interesting. And with the history check, oh man, I forgot to pull up the stuff from forever ago. But um, the the grandparents or great grandparents who founded it, both of them had a name that started with W. Yeah. So hence the double W's. Ah, uh, okay. I gotta actually pull that other one off because they only have this week's campaign notes pulled up. <laughs> All right, so what do you do with that information? I file it away. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else to do. We're to slowly turning into bureaucracy, everybody. All right, so I get real mad. Uh huh. And then I cool down. Okay. And then I go back out there. All right, so are you telling us everything you found? Mm, no, you guys didn't seem to care. 
Hey, what'd you find there, buddy? Oh, something very interesting. So does that affect our plans, then? No, but these people... I don't think they have the good of the community uh, in, in mind with whatever they're planning. So, I don't feel bad about um, scaring them straight. All right. I mean, we could... Okay. You guys want to make a, a public show of this? We could further degrade their name if we do it in secret. Well, I don't have any evidence because... Um, yeah. Torchy my lighter stick. Over the <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to just do... I want to do an insight check onto these two. And I kind of okay. want, I'm, what I'm looking to see mm -hmm. is, are they the kind of people who would learn something about somebody and take that information to the authorities? So you're rolling against our passive insight, and do you want us to answer if you beat it? Like, want us yeah. to answer? So, like, are you just trying, trying to just, like, lines. get a beat on them? Yeah, just I'm trying to get a beat on them. Do you okay. just want to know our alignment? No. Okay. Alright, we'll roll an inside chat. For both or for one? Uh, each. Alright. We'll do white is a uh, Ryan, gray is a. Uh, Just like our alignments. <laughs> one's a natural one, one's an eight. So, no. You get nothing. They are both humanoid, and they know things. Okay. Oh, I mean, one was a ten. I didn't add my mind. Which up. one was the. That was Corey's character. My passive in 613. Yeah, I don't think that, as a rogue, you would be able to get much from him. So I'm not able to feel like I can really trust these guys. You, okay. Not that you can't trust them, but you don't know what they're going to do. So you... Okay, that's good to know. So I kind of I kind of feel you out, and I decide, not worth it. Uh, okay, so I, I'm still on the uh, scare em straight train. I know you're not really for that. What do you want to do? What's your plan? I just... I don't, I don't like... Then, too many times, just... I don't like being on someone's home turf. I don't think we're going to be able to accomplish anything here. Note. Think. More importantly, we like, need to stick together when we can tackle this. I don't know what you're going to walk yourself into. I'm just going to... I would just go over there and I'd be like, Hey, we took care of the problem. We saw some... I wouldn't mention the shadows. I'd say we took care of some of them skeletons that were upstairs. And there was also some creepy big hands that were just running around. We took care of those too. We've searched the whole house, and uh, we've, uh, you know, we, we're pretty sure it's safe for you to come back. I got the other two just holding down the fort right now while we, while we're away. You know, maybe, are you going to mention the basement? No, that's not, gonna be a surprise. Yeah, that's a surprise for when we get there. Okay, going to be a look. Yeah, they're dead. Now stop this shenanigans. That's what we're going to do. All right. Yeah, that sounds. Yeah. Okay. 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 But okay. How we, well, what kind of trap do we want to set that? Are we just gonna like jump out of the doors and go booga booga booga? Well, we so could we could dress did. up in their in the parents' clothing and pretend to. What? <laughs> I like that idea. <laughs> uh, I'm not. Doing I'm that. gonna go change into the parents' clothing. <laughs> what? <laughs> the, the grandma's clothing. All right. I uh. Well, just the mother, mom, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, so we're doing the, the things we fought. Roll, Sorry, the mother. Yeah, roll and text me the roll that you get. Of uh, what? Uh, how good you disguise yourself as the mother. What the? If you want to go that way. Yeah, uh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, because I, ha I have a proficiency with disguise kit. Yeah. And oh, so nice. this is a dexterity check with my proficiency bonus added. Yeah. That's a 16. All right. Yeah, you are super, super fucking convincing um, on wow. looking just like them. Uh, for someone who only saw them in a ghostly specter and got their ass handed by said ghostly specter, um, since you had such a near-death experience, um, you're able to look damn exactly like them. Do we have come across pictures of them? By the way, oh, yeah, yeah. We have pictures. By the way, very fortunately, uh, I forgot my character sheet to you guys at home. I looked in our history and I found that I sent you all my rolls. Mm. So I just, I, and I knew what my, I know how to add my race mod stuff. So yeah. I was able to get all that back. And I generally know what my proficiencies are. Mm. So that's good. So here's what I'm going to do. Now I'm in full garb. I'm like, I'm going to head back and say, 
I'm back, you know, <laughs> like, and dad's there too. What's the dad's name? Uh, we know. Uh, do you? Yeah. No. Oh, wait, maybe we don't. Look oh, well, yeah, because the records. I have, I have record, records, boy. Right? Record, the records show man. that, uh, yeah, it's this is Bonnie Holland. and... Bonnie and Clyde. Uh, Tria and Holland. Tria yeah, and Holland. Holland. So I'm dressed as Tria, and, all right, I'll say Holland's waiting at home. You know, like, your experiment, they worked. How are you going to explain us? Well, we'll be I mean, like, waiting. Well, yeah, but how is he... They're probably going to ask about us as a group. What are you, you going to say, like, we're, we're, did you kill us, or... Oh, I... Oh, yeah. Tell them you killed us. <laughs> okay, now, here... See, there's some... There was some, uh... Intruders. There was a you thief. Took, you took care of them. There was a, some sort of thiefish guy there. Well, that is We told them to get lost. I'll just say we told them to get lost. Yeah. And the little one should be, um... Shitting bricks. Because, you know... He, he doesn't want to be dead. Okay. Uh... I actually want to see that. What? Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Okay. All right. What's okay. going to be the reason for you going to the inn? How how do how one how do you know they're at the inn? Two. Well, they told us they told we're us supposed to meet them at the inn. No, no, no. How would you, as Treya? Treya. Treya, know that they're at the inn? Mm. I got it. I got it. Here's a better plan. Here's a better <laughs> plan. All right. The adventurers were a little too uh, gun happy. They found the key to the basement, but they found us down there and they let us free. Okay. And so then we told them everything. Okay. And they sent me to, you know, the, the mom to go ahead and find the, find the kids, told them where they were. And I was just too overwhelmed by emotion. I wanted to see my children, you know. And Hoen, Hoen? Hoen. Hoen is watching, Hoen. holding down the fort with the adventurers, you know. Yeah. That works for me. Okay. So, okay. What? Okay. Yeah. This is a real scare them straight. They're going to think everything's good, and then everything's going to be terrible. <laughs> okay, but what's the game plan once they get here? Well, I think we We're should, we should uh, bring up the desecrated remains of their um, loving parents and scatter them maybe over the... Did we burn all that, though? Oh, didn't we? They, oh, and there yeah. were, like, specters that just... Maybe... Or there's not any bodily remains? Should we there s might be, but you And then we should be like, no, they're dead, you dolts. Have we... Okay, while you're gone, we'll go search the house for anything bodily. I don't know, we can prop them on a stick? Yep. Okay, cool, we'll do that. I don't know what the plan's gonna be, but we'll really figure it out. Yeah, okay, I'm leaving behind my uh, adventuring gear. Okay. Um. The druid. What? I'm leaving. Oh, I you're can't, leaving. I can't walk around with yeah, my yeah. sword, sword and shield and yeah, I'll you know, I'll my take care leather of armor and whatnot. I'm giving that to you okay. for now. Yeah. It's, I'm going to put it to the sign that says, don't touch. This is Eric's characters. Mags. Mag. Mags. Mag. Yeah. Okay. Mags, Boggs. I want to write it in Druidic. Mags, okay. Boggs, and uh, Frogs. Frogs. Um, was there, uh -huh. did we like miss a room or a room we didn't like really investigate? Yeah, like the first half of it. Thing yet uh, last week, oh, which kitchen. is actually something but that I'm already I on, to I'm on my way to the. I'm on my way to the. Um, okay. okay, we'll go into the. Well, kitchen. while you do, yeah. you guys decide. You know what you're going to do, and write like write down what you're looking for. I'm going to go over something with you. Okay. okay. All right. So when you get to the border of Dorking, Dorking, um, there's there's yeah. a wall, and it's uh, Wait, it's is, only got one. What do you mean by the border of Dorking? Uh, because the um the small town where the inn is in. Mm -hmm. Very small town, but there's a border around it, a wall, so that, you know, too high to just hop over. Mm -hmm. And there's only one entrance, and it's it looks kind of like a very lax version and fantasy version of, like, the TSA just kind of being like, all right, what's your name, where's your documents, that sort of thing. Okay. So, as you approach, you see that the only way in is to pass through some guards. Okay. If you do, if you want to do a history check, you could you might be able to get some information of what the, the sort of things that they ask or what the climate is a bit about here. That's an intelligence. That'll be a 13. Um, with a thir 13, you know, you don't know Just how Just know they... that my character has gone through these before, too. Go ahead. Sorry. Okay. You could do it with advantage, then. That was the better of the rules. Okay. Um, 
Well, the other thing is you would have to remember, like, each individual spot. Okay. Um, and oh, it, yeah, you may not have been in this particular... I might know the general idea, but not what these guys would ask. Okay. Yeah. Um, you don't know how they are about magic here. You know that um, if you don't have an ID, you create one. Um, and if you, but you cannot pass in and out without some form of I, some form and of she's ID. She's been uh, dead for a couple of years. She's been having an ID. So, I okay. I know what I'm going to do. Let's head in. Okay. Uh, so there's a couple of people in front of you. They go through, and then the two guards. Um, they both are human looking or half human of some sort. They don't look, you know, irregular um, at all or magical, from what you could see. And they go, all right, uh, papers. So, uh, that is the problem here. I don't have my papers, so my sons are staying at the inn. Can you remind me of the actual inn? Uh, can I remind you of the actual inn? I named it after some bird. Oh! The crystal bird! My sons are staying at the crystal bird. Mm -hmm. Can you be, like, less serial killer with your voice? No, this is, no. This is the voice of the mo mother. I just have, like, Buffalo Bill in my head right now when you're making But anyway. Um, uh, they go, well, you, uh, you still need papers. Uh, if you don't have any, uh, we could create some, but you can't pass in or out without papers. Okay. Could so, you uh, get names? My sons from the inn? Uh, no. Uh, name? Can you remind me the name of the I mean, you, you can, choose, you can no. choose whether or not you want to give her real name or... I'm going to give her name, the <laughs> mother's name. Treya. Treya. Okay. Treya. What's, the la what's her last name? Oh, God, I need to know this better. Uh, Wright. Treya Wright. Oh, uh, and he pauses. And he's like, he looks like he's like... Eh, okay, true, all right. You know, he rolled the a double right family. And he pauses and he's like, Did it? Didn't some of them die? Yes, my parents died about six months ago. Are you trying to lie or are you out of character for getting the details of this? Oh, three years ago. <laughs> Just say, I didn't say three years okay, ago. Okay, because you. Right now, the, um, I'm are lying. You, okay, I'm, lying. I I'm to... saying that it's the grandparents who died, like we think. Okay, like we I just wanted to make sure. Okay, do a deception check. With advantage? I don't know. Uh, with it's advantage, but he's going to contest that. Oh. Roll well. 21. All right, you just barely beat him because he was on you, and then he's like, "Okay, okay, all right, okay. all right." So, tree or right? Um, age fifty-five. You shouldn't ask a lady <laughs> <your> age. <laughs> and he's like, "Well, you're gonna hate the next question." Wait. <laughs> One hundred and. 30 pounds. Okay, he writes that down. <laughs> um, and he goes, reason for entry? I'm going to see my son. Yeah, okay. So uh, the paper is kind of like this little booklet, and it just is like, there's the description, and he wrote a description of like height, hair color, eye color. Um, and then in this current one, it has your reason for entry, and then underneath that's not filled out, it's reason for exit. And if you look on the other pages, it's very similar as in reason for entry, reason for exit, notes. And that's it. So he gives you... Your little booklet of and papers. What's your name? Uh, none of your business. It's okay. It's nice to meet you. None of your business. It's okay. And he shakes your shakes your hand, and he uh, lets you pass through. Okay. Um, the town is pretty small. I would say you could either spend like 15, 20 minutes walking, and you could probably get to the place just by looking around. Or if you wanted to make a beeline, there are people milling about. If you wanted to get there quicker and ask someone for directions. I'll ask someone for directions. Okay. Um, so there's a uh, dwarf woman who's just kind of milling about, you know, uh, do an insight check on her. That's going to be a six. All right. She's a dwarf, uh, but she is a helpful dwarf and points you in the a direction. Seven, but... she's, she's a nice, helpful dwarf with a seven and points you in the direction of the crystal bird which is in the southeast part of town. Um, and when you ask, uh, uh, let's see. Right. 
uh, when you ask where the crystal bird is, she kind of eyes you for a little bit, like looking you up and down, and then walks away and lets you go. All right. Well, this shall remain hidden uh -huh. to these two. But mm -hmm. as I approach, uh -huh. I'm going to wipe off the makeup mm -hmm. and the disguise mm -hmm. and use my changeling action mm -hmm. to turn to make it so I look exactly like her okay. and sound exactly like her. Okay. So Sounds whatever, what, what does she actually sound like? No. Uh, she sounds like Eric because I don't want to hear Eric doing a girl voice. All right. I'm sorry. But I want to get the Buffalo Bill going on. No. <laughs> anyway. Um, but uh, no, how about this? She, um, she has a southern accent. Um, so. Uh, okay, she, I'll do my best. I'm, I'm sorry for any got, southerners she's got, out she's, there. She's, she's, she's got like a smoky voice and a southern accent. Sense. Smoky. What does a smoky voice sound like? I need my Pepsi. <laughs> I need my Pepsi. Well, no, not a my smoker voice. It's oh, just sorry. like a... Sultry? Yeah. I would, I would go with that. Just get some gravy, y'all. <laughs> but yeah, so just that's what she gravy, sounds like. y'all. And, okay, um, so, so let's head on in there. That's right. like a mix of Wisconsin. <laughs> yeah, so it's hard. You know, it's, it's not easy. I'm from Wisconsin. Uh, yeah. Okay, anyways. All right. Um, but yeah, so you go, you go into the uh, crystal bird, and it is ritzy as fuck. Um, let me pull up the description. God, I should have done this before. Mm, da, 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 there we go. Um, it is a grand half-timbered building with marble tables and plush chairs. A collection of gilded weapons hangs on the walls like a fancy Applebee's. Accommodations consist of several <laughs> large rooms with beds and woolen mattresses. I'm, so, I'm sorry, Ritzy and Applebee's cannot <laughs> exist. I said a fancy Applebee's. That doesn't exist. But anyway, with, you know, like the local high school... <laughs> Picture. For those who are fans of Applebee's, <laughs> I hope you do feel offended. <laughs> but yeah, so anyway, um, it's fairly populated all by like, everyone is like dressed super nice, like it, everyone is of the upper 1% who are in this. In the, in the... <laughs> <laughs> so what do you do? Uh, I have to test my last to see my uh, children. Uh, so the person at the desk is, uh, let me, let me do my fancy person sitting. Um, so it is a elven woman, long, long, uh, platinum blonde hair. And she goes, oh, who's your sons? Adam and, uh, oh, it's Adam and, I should write this stuff Alan down. Ed. Alan Ed. Alan yes. Ed, right. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, yes. Um, shall I call them down for you? No, I'll go up and see them. Okay. Uh, do you have keys? No. Okay. Can I see your papers? And, uh, this is Nazi. What? Regime papers nonsense. I mean, you go to a hotel and say, hey, I'm looking for these people. Give me the key to their room. You gotta give something. Okay. Nazi hotel. I don't like this whole town. Anyway. And uh, so she looks at it and she sees that your papers line up with the same last name. And she hands it back with the room key. All right. I think we'll be fixing the go. I'm sorry? I think we'll be fixing the go pretty okay. soon. Just to let you know. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm heading up to their room. Okay. Um, I might want to jump back to them. My question is, um, are you planning on singling one out? Like, so how do you plan on trying to get them to go? And I think what we're going to do is we're going to do a straight-up D12 roll where... Um, I'm going to do a kind of powered by the apocalypse rule here, where it's a one, two, if it's one through three, it's going to be like a straight up failure. Um, four through nine is a mixed success where you're able, you're able to get them to do what you want them to do, but at a price. And then 10 to 12 is, is a complete success and you don't have to pay anything for that. Okay. So while I go back to them, think of, think about <clears throat> exactly what the goal is you want to set out to do. All right. All right. You too. Okay. Okay, so we need my bodies lay a trap. First, I'm hungry. Yeah, we're not sure that there's bodies to be found, but yeah. um, we, we realized we didn't really check the kitchen very well, so mm -hmm. we um, think we might 
minutes. So just as a reminder, um, it's not on here, but uh, the kitchen. God, you make me pull back has, multiple has a tabs. Little, uh, walk-in freezer, right? Yeah. yeah. Where you just went. Okay. Huh. <laughs> it's cold in here. Uh, I, I guess I'm gonna talk about the Harmon from now on. I want to make a perception okay. check into the freezer. Okay. That is going to be a nine. It's a freezer. There's there's dead stuff in here, but it's pro you know. What kind of dead stuff? I mean, like hanging meats and stuff like that. Okay, I guess I'm gonna walk into it. Okay. Um. Descri describe how like I know it, like describe how you walk in sounds stupid, but like tell me how you're checking things out. Um, I'm going off my role, I guess. I'm just mm -hmm. kind of like I, I just kind of like walk like you would just walk into it, like you're you're just walking in. Okay. Um, do a dex check. Oh, okay. That is going to be a fifteen. Okay. Uh, there was a little leaky patch um, that, uh, you know, a frozen ice of something. You can't tell whether it's just, like, water or, like, meat blood or something. And you kind of skid a little, and in that moment, your senses are a little heightened because you're like, oh, shit, I almost fell, and your mm -hmm. heart's pumping. And then, like, you look, and then you see, um, um, like, a casing of, of, some, of some sort. <clears throat> um, it's not locked. It's just shut. Okay. I open it. There's two dead bodies in there. And it looks okay. exactly like the specters that you thought. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, um, and they look... So, um, do an insight check. Okay. Or an investigation, sorry. So one. Uh, so it's two dead bodies. Two dead bodies. It's, yeah. They might be well, alive, though. When you no. roll a one, it's... Crazy. Yeah, so you don't have to add your modifier. You want to uh, you want to call me over and get my two cents about? <laughs> Not that I'm... So I'm going to pick up one of the bodies. Oh my god, do a strength check, because they're... Yeah, it's dead weight. It's a yeah. nat 20. Wow. Oh my god. You wear them as a suit, no I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. <laughs> Which one do you pick up? I, they're two dead bodies, so they're... Yeah, but that's like 400 pounds of human. Like I don't know which... what the difference. One or two. Uh, one. I'm picking okay. up one. All right. I don't dead know what body one. Uh, you pick up Tria. Okay, I'm picking oh, up Tria. Spoiler. And I'm like, I want to like, I want, I'm going to like kind of do a in the corner thing while you come in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, um... Uh, I'm gonna do a perception check to see what the fuck he is doing in there, because it's really, it's just I hear a commotion, okay. hear some rustling right, around. Do, do a perception check. Uh, seven. Wrong dice. Oh, it certainly is. Thank you. Thank you. Fourteen. Mm -hmm. Sixteen. Um, do a deception check to combat that. That's 18. gonna be eighteen plus deception of twenty-two. Okay. Um, there is a dead body coming right for you. Yeah, I'm like, where are my sons? Oh, God. I'm going to freak out then, probably. And, uh, yeah, probably do a, uh, man, probably do a poison spray, right? That would be my initial reaction. Okay. Um, what's, the, is it a dex check? What, what, describe poison spray. Um, that is a great question. Sorry. Here. Poison spray, conjuration, cantrip, um, poison gas. Okay, constitution save. Luckily, dead things can't get poisoned, and I imagine you're aiming at that. Oh yeah, it would be so aiming at space. You yeah. don't have to. So okay, cool. you send your your magic their way, and it does not affect it. What do you do? Oh man, I, like, uh, not cool, bro. Not cool, bro. And then I just pop my head behind. Oh, head. and then I then I'm like, well, that was. Totally a call for, and you could have gotten a club upside your head. Well, it didn't happen. Can you help, help me with the other body? All right. There's another body in here? Yeah, right in there. You're keeping bodies in the... Wait a second, I recognize these from the picture that I took from oh, that. cool. Mm -hmm. It's cool. the parents. Dope. Yep. Would, do you want to take it out of the freezer? Yeah. All right. We're, that's what we said we are going to do, right? We're All right. We're with the bodies. So I help him, I help him take... Mm -hmm. Where do you want to take these? I have no idea. Uh, both of you do a perception check in the meantime. Uh, that is going to be 21. 10 for me. Okay. Bob doesn't know anything, but uh, Franz, you're able to, as you're pulling them, these bodies look pretty fresh. Um, so you can't tell just because you're not like a magical person whether or not this was done by magical means or that they have been here since their death. 
Okay. So you can't tell, but you know that these bodies are well too preserved to have been recently dug up. Okay, like this... Whatever happened, this is recent. <clears throat> so... Hmm. Let's, let's spring our trap. Okay. While you guys figure out what your trap is going to be... Alright, I just want to note that as a changeling, I do have an advantage on a deception check to avoid deception. Okay, so you can, so you can roll a d12 with advantage. Deception right. is noticing and my goal is I just want to like rush in and like hug and kiss and be like, I'm just so happy to see you. Uh -huh. You know, and then like the details yes. can be fuzzy. I just want them to be overwhelmed by emotion. In okay. That moment. So you want me to roll a d12 with advantage? Yep. First one's a 12, so I don't know how you're going to bother oh, rolling the second one. Jesus. All right. Um, so just to describe this, um, Al actually faints at the sight of you at first. Um, like, he is just, like, he doesn't know what to think. Um, and he's so overwhelmed that he just passes the fuck out almost on the spot. Like, you hug him, and he goes limp in your arms. Uh, Ed, on the other hand, he's in total shock. Um, not, like, angry or upset, but just, like, relieved. Um, and on the way there, now you could choose how you want to answer these, but he's asking questions like, are you okay? Do you remember anything? Um, do you remember, you know, and, like, anytime Al is, like, because I, I guess you're walking back to the mansion with them. Well, um, do, do they walk places? They don't. Um, <laughs> on a carriage ride, I guess. And, um... I, you know what, at this point, maybe they, um, you, uh, carry Al, and he's in the back I carriage. Mean, we carry him together. I, yeah. I'm a weak old lady. Yeah, like, I, sorry, I meant, like, a general you. Yeah. Um, have, a, a, there's, like, a horse-drawn carriage, and, um, Ed is, like, he's with the reins in the front, and you're sitting next to him, and he's asking, like, do you remember the basement? Like, do you remember, like, the, like, try to, like, mimic the ghostly figures that, um, were resurrected. No, I don't remember much too well. I just, I remember it was dark, and then I, mm -hmm. then I, I was there. Okay. All right, so let's pause. Back to you guys. What are you doing? I sent you two messages. Okay. Uh, I'm wondering, uh -huh. with that perception check, was it, one, uh, did I see, like, notice <laughs> any harm done to the body? <laughs> And two are they naked? <laughs> All I see is, are they naked? Um, they're they're dressed as if they were about to be buried in like their best dress clothes. Okay. Did um, I notice like how they were like harm like burn wounds, knife oh, wounds, things like that? Yeah, that's what I mean. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so they were killed uh from the resulting impact of the meteor. Um, okay. There's um. Like they, were, it wasn't like the meteor hit and that like radiation or anything. They, it was probably some sort of um, when they were, uh, they might have been on a trail somewhere, and then the earth kind of like um, left beneath, you know, uh, what was I gonna say? Like parted beneath their feet from some earthquake or another, and they fell. Yeah. So there, there's some like bruises and right, stuff, right. Um, Blood and like trauma. yeah, there but is. it's not like gross. It's just. You know, yeah. it's not like someone beat the shit out of them. Right, right. Um, and how long ago was a meteor from this moment, the impact? Uh, three it's years. three years now. Three years, okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, they have a nice freezer. I'm not kidding. Okay, well. Uh, well, okay. So, we, um, I think we're going to lay them out um, in front of the stairs there uh, to, mm -hmm. to confront the brothers when they return. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, um, let's... Uh, to make sure the doors are shut so we can kind of like make it like a grand like yeah. swing it open kind of thing. Totally, yeah. Mm -hmm. ah. um, anything else we want to do? I'm trying to look at my list of stuff. Uh, yeah, no, I don't think so. Well, I feel like mm. I wonder if could I cast entangle and then like use them like marionettes? <laughs> that would be maybe oh, like God. a God. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Um, Maybe not. Ooh, I have rope. We could, like, string them could... up and, like, release them. Oh my God. <laughs> I wish I was there. <laughs> like the <laughs> paint cans in Home Alone? Yeah! Yeah, let's Home Alone this. Down the stairs? Yeah, um, whack them with the dead parent bodies. I think, I, think may, I think maybe just the shock of, like, seeing them, right? 
at, as soon as they walk in the door. But we, how we, are they going to? Are they going to see them hanging from the ceiling like Home Alone or on the base of the stairs? Like because there's think, there's two different very different kinds of shocks we're talking about right now. I think maybe just the base of the stairs. Yeah, let's just do the base of the stairs. I'm just saying what we could do. The base of the stairs is like to the back left of the main entryway, right? So they don't. Well, I think it was door. just like. No, there, it's right oh, there. Oh, that's the stairs to the basement. Yeah. So, the, okay, I thought you meant the stairs upstairs. No, 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 no. We, we found them in the kitchen freezer. So yes. we're going to just drag them out Yeah, here. okay. And just as a reminder, there's a fallen chandelier at this point in the very middle of the room. Oh, yeah. So the sh yeah. We'll put them in front of the... Is there a way to get the chandelier back up? Like, I mean, it's heavy as shit. Yeah. Like it's and like, it's like shattered. So, oh, like, yeah, never mind. you get the chandelier up, there's like glass shards everywhere. So I'm not going to say anything. Um, I mean, you could. So yeah. Nope, I'm not gonna. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll just we'll just kind of lay them, uh, maybe on the stair at the bottom of the stairs, sort of in a weird sitting slash li lying position. Okay, they. I mean, they're, they're frozen, frozen so stick, like, so yeah. they're just like. How are they? How are like, they? You're gonna have to crack them like a We're gonna, fresh. We can set just like do a thing where like we can kind of like lean on each other, so they just like support each other's weight. All right, yeah. kind of situation. Yeah, no, no, but like they're device. they're frozen like this. So if you need them to like bend at all, you're no, no, no. Like... If they're frozen, it's like if they're like standing yeah, like, up straight, they're yeah, just gonna yeah. like lean against each other like at an angle, and then keep each other up supported that way. Yeah. Like TP stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Um, and then I don't know. Hashtag planking. Hashtag planking. I feel like I don't know. I feel like we need like some like a trap or something that can like grapple them or something or restrain them. The 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 the, the, the kids. Yeah, the kids. Because I just feel like if this guy's a necromancer, he's just gonna like. I don't want to fight these guys again. Would I be able to cast entangle inside the house? You could, but see how long it lasts. And I'll just. Oh yeah, you want to cast entangle when they walk in. You probably wouldn't want to cast it like beforehand. How about we open the doors and then, like, hey, look at your parents, and it's then you cast a tangle. So. You could ready and tangle um, for when the brothers walk in, but you would have that would have to be your like. My my. Uh, no matter what ha if you say as soon as the brother walks in, I'm gonna cast and tangle. It doesn't matter what's happening as soon as the brother walks in. That's your move, right. and then we're in combat. Remember that I'm with them. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I think you should do that. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. You got well, I mean, 60 seconds. Even if they were in Come up with the plan. Still... Go. I'm timing okay. it. Okay. Um, I think I think we should be out of sight when they come in. Let, okay. let um, Mags come in, um, sort of uncover this surprise, and then okay. uh, we'll look for her uh, to give us sort of a signal. To... Cool. So, Let's go so ahead to the dining room um, then. They got oh my god, you're so, so excited to see Horn. Oh, I can't wait to see the look yeah. in his faces. Don't faint this time. Okay? Or maybe, yeah. okay. I mean, maybe we could be upstairs. Um, Al is Wait just starting to wake down? up. So, um, the chandelier is And he's just, oh, yeah, that's right. like, how? And, like, we buried you. Like, yeah, well, he's still, yeah. like, You go to the dining room, I go to the kitchen, shock. and we'll, has, we'll run okay, up. He has no go. fucking idea what's going on right now. Um, so. That'll explain. What? That'll really explain to me. Okay. Um, so that, as in, like, you're gonna, you're walking them to the front of the thing now? Mm -hmm. Okay. You're here? Okay. Alright, tell me your plan. We're just leaving. I'm in the kitchen, uh... <laughs> Not the worst plan ever. Franck is in the dining room with... Whatever. Franck, yeah. Franck is in the dining room, and we're just gonna, we're gonna see how this un uh, unfolds, and, and, uh, be prepared to jump in when, sort sure. of, so, uh, the opportunity presents. Right. We're gonna really have to think on her feet. Yeah. <laughs> She's about yeah. to just walk in and there's going to be dead bodies right there. <laughs> I mean, you, you have to be prepared that the uh, that the ruse is coming to an end. Right? Sure, we did talk about the bodies before you left. No, you didn't. You found them after I left. Well, I wish I knew how to spell kitchen, because apparently I spelled it fucking you wrong. You found the bodies after I left. Yeah, but we talked about looking for bodies before you left. Yeah. Alright, so I just don't, well, so, I don't remember that, so Mags doesn't remember that. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so just a lot about a lot of stuff. here's the door. The yep. basement where the bodies are. Were well bodies are in front of the chandelier. Oh, in front of the chandelier. Yeah, so they open the door and then there's bodies oh, okay. supporting each other. So this is <laughs> Alright, so we got thing. this is awful. Um Yeah. Also, if you guys uh who positioned the bodies? 
we both did because they're both carrying one. All right, each of you do a dexterity saving throw. Hmm. It's gonna be eleven. Oof, that one. Um, roll a d4. Oh, sorry, that is thirteen. Sorry. Okay. Uh, Ryan, roll a d4. One. You take one piercing damage from the glass that's all around Ouch. the shadow chandelier. All right, cool. Um, so you open the door. Okay. And it's dark. It is dark, but there is moonlight. Okay. Um, oh, this is a spooky frickin' image. Yeah, this is kind of spooky. Can or uh, yeah. can we swap we the cameras a little? Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to move this one down uh -huh. a little bit, because it already actually has almost all of that in there. Okay, sounds good. All right, so uh, who, who are the brothers going to be? The brothers are going to be mm, these colors. No, no, no. That, it's, let's just here. I'm over there. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty, cool. that's pretty good. Good, good, good. All right. Actually, I can't use gold when we got that, so I'm going to use these colors. All right. So the two brothers are right here, and can I get your? Thank you. Oh man, I forgot to bring. The oh, I can't even use my solar. All right, let's I try. I can this. use a different color. No, no, it's okay. I'm just being complaining. Um. So as soon as the brothers open the door and walk alongside you to see. The morbid fucking shit that your companions did. It was Corey's um, idea. <laughs> whoa, whoa. It was Franz's idea. Franz's idea. And you supported me. <laughs> Literally. And. <laughs> uh. What sort of thing? Alright. Um. We're going to roll for initiative. Um. Ed attempted to stealthily, like, prep a spell, but you, he rolled so awfully that, like, anyone who has a passive perception above four that's will be me. able to see that's that shit's about to go down. So, let's all roll initiative. We're also hidden, by the way. Yes, but, um, still. It's gonna be nine. Okay, one sec. Yeah. Get the nine. Uh, Fifteen. What? And two. two. <laughs> wow. All right, Mags, you're up first. You just saw Ed attempt to like prep a spell, but it kind of he faltered a little. Um, and you don't know whether he was going for you or for. Uh, the bodies, but he just, he tried something, and it didn't quite work out. So, what do you do? I turn towards them, mm -hmm. s smearing my face as uh, if I'm, dro like, getting rid of makeup. Uh -huh. just a mask. But I'm dropping my, I'm changing back into Meg's, mm -hmm. and, um, and I'm just going to point to the bodies, and uh -huh. I'm just going to say, is this what you want? Oh, uh, okay. And then I'm going to cast Sacred Flame on the bodies. Fuck. I mean, do it. I mean... Uh, it's a dexterity saving throw, so I'm pretty sure they're going to get burnt up. Yeah. Um, roll your damage. Jesus, oh I didn't God. even roll initiative for the fucking bodies. And also the D12. So we're still using it? Okay. Yes, oh, we yeah. are. It's a cantrip. Did we do that for cantrips? You didn't level up yet. So. Okay. I didn't remember if we did that. All right. Five, so it works as normal. Right? Uh, yep. And then damage for Sacred Flame. Sorry, I normally would have this up. I just wasn't expecting this. I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, you it's a, just a, it's a D8. It's a D8. It's a D8, but maybe, you know, it's, it's radiant damage in case that matters. Five damage. Ah, oh, you thought of them. <laughs> oh. I had a feeling Can I make a stench roll? Yeah, uh, because they are so frozen, like, it doesn't, the bodies themselves don't take the damage you would expect from that, but, like, you thawed them, so, like, there's not that icy exterior anymore. Have I intimidated so. Ed? You fucking infuriated him! You just, like, shot a flame at his parents! How's Al handling all I, this? I mean, I'd You'll like find to... out when it's his turn! <laughs> I'd like to make an intimidation check if I could. I thought that was the whole point. I was trying to, like, intimidate them. Uh, well, let's pause. Um, so, I'll let it happen this time, but if you're... 
when you all right you have to state good. intent when you make all right the, that that makes um, sense that i thought it was clear when i was like is this what you want it like, is but um <laughs> like just for like to get the reaction that you're looking for or pa put you know put across what you're trying to get i would mm -hmm. recommend doing that role when the action is being that makes taken. sense that makes sense all right eh, it's only an 11. Um, yeah, he's beyond pissed at this, um, and he just screams, what gives you the right? And he, what's he gonna do? Cause Wait, are we still level one? He's yeah. still our level one. Oh, shoot, my. Yeah, we're... And he is going to cast... Three enemy Actually, corpse. one second. I need you... One second. Oh my god. I just have to pull the thing. What kind you of save do you have to do? Uh, make a constitution saving throw. Nine. Um, you see him, like, go kind of like this. Like, right at you at, like, face level. And then suddenly everything goes dark. Um, and you have now been blinded. Puck okay. sand! Yeah. <laughs> and next up, and uh, if you wanted to look up the stat, like the condition for blind, yeah. um, next up is Franz. What do you do? Um, um, can I see what's happening? Yeah, I imagine you're kind of like poking your head out. Yeah. And you see, I mean, you don't know what's up with Max, you just see Ed... Do you know pocket sand him her yeah. essentially? Okay. And like she doesn't seem to take any damage or anything like that. I'm gonna I can hold my turn, right? You can. I'm gonna hold my turn. Okay. Because process there's a lot of process here. Mm-hmm. I'm holding my turn. I'll let you know what I want. <laughs> okay. Uh next up is Al. Um, and he just lets out like this scream. Like like he's been wounded when you do this. Um, and he runs over to you, and you don't, you don't, you don't know what's going on, but you just hands. feel, um, hands grip onto your shirt and start shaking you, like, why did you do that? What is going on? Um, and that's, that's his turn. Um, and Bogs, you're up next. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, well, they've seen me already, so... Can't mm, just no, no, you're in the haven't. kitchen. No, 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 no. I mean, they've seen me before. Like, uh, they know what I look like. Um, like cast a mustache on you. <laughs> oh, yeah, you I used it you once already. That's once per day. <clears throat> but you still have a nice mustache. You can also save your turn. That's what I'm doing right now. Well, I feel like I should probably go out there and help Mags. Um, I don't, I don't know she's blinded, but I, I guess I can sort of intuit the pantomime of having shit in your eyes. Um, You've had shit in your eyes. Ugh. Guys, we're going dark today. You've had pink eye. <laughs> um. Yeah. Okay. So I, yeah, I'm just gonna. I'll be like. Running out, sort of. Okay. I guess. Um, Your movement's thirty feet. Five. Okay. Just so you know, um, let me just get this. So Ed's right here. Al is currently just shaking. Ed is uh, the. Ed's the the shithead. Actually, I'm gonna back up. Um, I'm gonna back up to that. So. Okay. And Al's the younger one, and right now, you can see he's got just tears <clears throat> streaming down his face. He's a grown-ass man, and his voice is cracking from from going like, what are you doing? Why? And I, just, I get, what's going on? I get on? that from Al. I'm more worried about Ed, I think. Mm -hmm. Al seems largely harmless, if not a little emotional at the time. Uh, I'm gonna, I guess I'm going to go ahead and cast the old trusty thorn whip. Okay. Because um, it's kind of... Mm -hmm. What to do? Okay. Um, should have had this pulled up. Sorry. Here we go. Right. So it's a fourteen. That hits. I think a one six, right? Yeah. Five. Okay. And I pull him closer to me. Okay. So go ahead and do that. 
I think it's 10 feet, or? I think, yeah, it's 10 feet, so, uh, so right in front of me. All right. Um, we're back to the top with Mags. I'm going to use my turn right now. Okay. Uh, I'm going to run out, and I'm going to try to grapple. Okay. Uh, I'm going to grapple um, out. Okay, strength contest, then. Yep. That's a 7. It's a 12. Cool. So, um, he, you try and grapple him, but he just, you know, like, shrugs you off. Like, he's not, like... Can I have advantage because he didn't see me? No. Damn it. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, the other thing is he is, like, you know, his knuckles are, like, white from how hard he's gripping Max right now. Um, and he doesn't, like, let go. He just elbows you out of the way blindly. I'm like, I'm like okay, buddy, buddy, this was your brother. Your brother did this. Um, roll, do a charisma check. Okay, just straight charisma? Uh, or persuasion. Okay. That is a, hey, that's seven. Uh, it doesn't work right now, but he, hear, he hears you, but he, you don't know if he's, like, listening right, right. right now. Um, so we're back up the top with Max. Alright, so Sacred Flame, I can cast it if I can see the target. Mm -hmm. I can feel Al. Could uh -huh. I cast it on Al? With that I'm ooh. going to say, like, no, because you have to see it, and I imagine part of it, part of the ability to use that magic is sight, if that makes sense. Like, um... Alright, do, you, I, do I do can, anything to knock off the uh, the blindness? Just, just like at the beginning of my turn, is there anything that I do? Um, you can make, at the end of each of your turns, you can make a constitution saving throw. Okay. Alright. So, like, you, if you wanted to do an unarmed strike, I wouldn't make you roll with disadvantage to hit him, because he literally is right in front of you. I don't want to unarmed strike him. Um... Alright. Uh, grappling someone? Is that an attack roll? I'm just curious. Um, it would be your action. Yes. So I'm gonna grapple Al. Aren't you technically grappled? No. He's, he's oh. just shaking. Yeah. Oh. Alright. Yeah, like, grappling would be, like, hmm. and it'd be a strength contest. It just made. Uh, I've, been, he, I've been rolling so bad. I've rolled under yeah. 10 every single roll today. Yeah, he rolled a 14, so you're not able to grapple him. Like, he's a tenacious he sees you roll start going like this, and he, like, pushes you back when you try and grab him, then reels you back in when, uh, he, you know, you realize that, like, you missed, essentially. Um, you could do a con save and throw to be unblinded. Two. You're still blind. Um, Ed's turn is up, and Bog has just fucked his shit up a bit. Um, and what he is going to do is cast, uh, what constitution saving throw? I don't want to say the spell names because you may not have, um, encountered it yet. So I'm just going to see what con save throw you need to make. Um, let's see, yeah, con, okay, make a con save. We're looking at where's my con? Uh, nine. All right. Um, you suddenly feel overwhelmingly sick, ready okay. to like puke, and like you don't really get pale, but like for a moment you feel like you were when like you were in your human form. Okay. When you were ready to puke your guts out. All right. But just as you're about to just like. Wretch, it just it go. It kind of like you feel like your vine sort of wicking away that sickness. Okay. And it ha you feel like it had you had a human body, your shit might have been fucked up a bit. <laughs> um, and Ed looks a little shocked that it didn't work. Um, and it's Ronda's turn now. I'm attack him. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. That is going to be a 11. Does not do it. Okay. All right, Bob, it's your turn. All right. Oh, no, wait, sorry, it's Al's turn. Uh, um, he sees his brother start getting to get ganged up, 
and uh, he turns to back to you again, um, and he screams in your face, Mags. Call them off. Call them off now. Um, and that's that's his turn. Uh, Bob, you're up. All right. Um, he said that to Mags. Yes. Um, Did we hear that? He's screaming, <laughs> so okay. you would have heard that. Um, he doesn't believe that like he would be able to convince you to to stop attacking his brother, so he's mm. trying to appeal to one of your party. Um, but yes, Fox, it's your turn. So I'm gonna like you know like I, I felt sort of sick, and then mm. it goes away, and I look up to see Ed looking puzzled. Mm -hmm. So I give him a little I give him a little smirk. <laughs> Uh, and, a, and, a, and a crook of my eyebrow, and I cast a poison spray on him. Okay. Uh, one second. Uh, dex save, right? Right. That is a whopping eight. Which probably doesn't do it. Sorry. So what's the uh, damage on that? Um... D twelve. Six. All right. We're back up to the top with Mags. I mean, technically, the the dead bodies go after that, but they're they're still uh, thawing. I put my hand on Al's shoulder, mm -hmm. and I say, "Look at my eyes. Your brother did this." Mm -hmm. He tried to cast a spell the moment he walked in. He's the one being the aggressor. You know, I can tell them to call it off. And I'm trying to be very mm -hmm. calm in mm -hmm. this moment, trying to calm him down. Okay. I can ask them to stop, but you need to tell your brother to stop, too. Uh, do a persuasion check. All these dice sucked. <laughs> Here you go. I no, saying, I don't want to roll you. You rolled a seven. Then. I'll just roll this black dice. I'll have to... Nat one. That one goes in the dice prison. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and, okay, so tell me what happened. But genuinely, I think, um, roll with advantage because your eyes are... Well, that one's not getting rolled again. We'll do yeah. the white dice. Uh, it's 20. Okay. Um, he turns to his brother, um, and he screams, you need to stop. Mm, let's see what all right, they both rolled shitty. Um, so at that point, Ed had his like arms up ready to cast another spell at what looks like the both of you. Um, Dude. And he glances back and then just... It's not a surrender, it's a pause. Can I say, Franz, Bogs, let's... Uh... Let's see if we can not talk this, uh, talk our, talk that. Uh, 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 uh. Let's see if we can't talk um, them down. I see that you're so blind, right? Um, at the yeah. end of my turn, I'm gonna make a con saving throw. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can see that you are not well, so I'm I'm uh, interested in de-escalating this uh, mm -hmm. in whatever means necessary. So I back off. Okay. Um, I don't like this, by the way. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, go ahead. I, oh, I'm like, uh, I don't like this, but okay. I'm still eyeing. I'm going to make a shot. Okay. So. Suspiciously, though. That's a 20. Okay. Uh, yeah, you have your eyesight restored um, at that point. And uh, so, Al's, I mean, I'm Al gonna is. I use my changeling sorry. features. I'm sorry. Make my eyes go white. Stay so the eyes are staying white. I can see. Okay, so, but you're making them believe that you're still blind. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Ed looks between the three of you, and he goes, "What the fuck are you three even?" Well, actually, no, and no. This is the first thing. This is the first time he's also talked to you yeah. guys like properly. No, no. The real question is, what the fuck are you? There was a zombie thing in your office. Up. We fought these, like, banshee spectral things in the basement. I'm putting my hand on Ed's shoulder, and I'm just 
lightly trying to sit down with him on the ground. Maybe away he's from not, the He's not, he's not, he's not sitting down. All right. Um, you, so you, you he just shrugs his hand off. I mean, shrugs your hand off, like, going like that. And he's like, don't touch me. You sent us in here, and you knew this was all here. Like, we almost were sent to die. I was going to pay you royally. Yeah, well, okay, speaking of which, where's the payment? We took care of the problem. <laughs> Franz, hold on. No, I want my money. Ed. Also, we, we checked the books. We'll get there. We checked the books. We know your money situation. Ed. I don't think you're a bad person, mm. but what you were doing here was wrong. I don't see anything written in the law that says I can't do this. Yeah, people of your stature, they often think of right or wrong solely in terms of the law. I guess that's understandable, but, but it's not right. They, they, you, you've seen the skeletons and the undeads. I'm not I'm, here to get lectured by you. I'm not. Either. I'm gonna keep talking. <laughs> um, I have put up my hand. Like, hold uh -huh. on. Um, this is foolhardy. This is sacrilege. This is a path to go down that will only result in more pain and suffering. Not just for your parents. Not just for you, but for your family. And I adjust her towards Al. Uh, make an insight check. What's your history check for? <laughs> I want to know if there's a law against desecrating corpses. And what'd you roll? I rolled a six. Uh, there's laws in the land. Uh, there are laws about corpses. You don't know whether or not uh, there's laws against this. So I'm like, I'm saying bullshit. Uh -huh. Bullshit. Bullshit. We know you should be fucked with corpses. Insight check, you said? Yes. And he looks 15. at you and goes, I don't fuck corpses. 15. Anyway, uh, with Asshole. a 15, you notice that he's not listening to you anymore. You're talking, but he's just, he's done his, like, elf trance, where, like... He's an elf? Half elf. Okay. Um, where he's just trancing right now. So, Al. Al is still so distraught right now, but he looks to you, and his eyes are like all red and puffy and sad, and he's like, I, "Did you know I just, your parents were in the freezer? Did you know what your brother was doing in the basement?" And he he goes quiet at that, um, and he goes, "I knew they were here. I didn't know what he was doing." And you know how people have been changing since that meteor hit. Mm -hmm. well, a lot of new magics around. And one of those new magics <coughs> can bring people... It doesn't bring people back from the dead, but it can animate their bodies. Mm -hmm. Turn skeletons into fighters. Turn bodies into these z zombies. These things that don't have any soul. Mm -hmm. Don't have any life. And... That's what but you're... magic can get there. It can't. I don't believe that. But dude, you're messing with your parents' bodies. Like, we saw your experiments in the basement. It didn't work. And he looked and he goes, what experiments? <laughs> uh, they're forms. They're like, I don't know, they're souls? I don't know, what was that? I am going to search Al internally. Al genuinely looks confused, though, I, I'm gonna, about the basement. Al does or Ed does? So. Oh, I'm, oh I, thought, I, thought, I, thought, I thought I was Ed saying. Oh, I'm like, sorry. oh, they're, your, your parents' soul oh, sorry, spirits? Let me, let me, um, Al knew that the bodies were in the... Freezer. He didn't know what Ed was yeah. doing in the basement. Okay. He, he, took, he, he took that from them, and they were downstairs, and they... They, they attacked us. They weren't, they weren't human, but they, they, they looked... It was... I've never seen anything like it. This is what your brother is doing. Whatever he was trying to do to bring them back, it failed. And they were tormented downstairs. He failed. Yes, he failed. He's not the only magic user in the world. Right, but this is about... And he can... We can get better at magic. If in three years we were <clears throat> able to bring back souls, if we were able to reanimate the dead... Think of what we can do in five years or ten years. 
This is my sucks, for lack of a better word. Ryan, where's mm -hmm. my is my armor within sight? Would I be uh, able to see it here? Yes, I would have left it near the door. I'm gonna just go grab my sword and shield and sheath it, not like mm -hmm. in an aggressive way. Yeah. I'll leave my armor there for now because obviously I'm not gonna change right mm -hmm. there. I am not gonna lie. This sucks, and I definitely. Did not want to see your friend scorch the shit out of my parents. I don't want to see failed attempts at bringing my parents back to life, but sometimes that's what we have to do to get things back to where they were, to fail a lot and learn from those failures. Hmm. So I just asked, so there's no convincing you not to head down this path any longer? And he looks at you, and he's like, is that a threat? I'm asking a question. So am I. We have to stop you. No, yeah, you I'm going to say a damn right that's a fucking threat. All right, he said that, I didn't. And Al, um, you, you can't tell what what Ed's reaction to that is, because he's, he's got a very stoic mm -hmm. look on his face right now. But Al looks at you and goes, I don't want to make an enemy out of you. You know, I'll give you your payment because you did the job that my brother asked you to do. But, I mean, we're but not... But if you don't stop, in a week, two weeks, three months, you're going to need the same sort of help again. And it's only going to get worse. You brought your own doom and you don't even know how to handle it. You called upon he, three random people to do your dirty work. You were and he, he pauses and he goes... I cast Guiding Pole on Ed. <laughs> <laughs> um, do a... Let's... Hmm, do a stealth check, because if you want to try and get this surprise sure. round... I'm going to get the good roll on the stealth check, and I'm not going to hit the Guiding Pole. Uh -huh. uh, stealth is a... Oh, 16, I believe. I think I'm proficient in stealth. Ah, uh, okay. Ed doesn't, I mean, Ed doesn't see anything, and fuck, Al doesn't if see If they don't see it, then do I have advantage on the strike? Well, not. I mean, they don't see that you're, like, yeah, stealth, but, yeah. like, I wouldn't give you advantage right, that's on fine. it. Unless, because there's All right. classes and races that do give you advantage. Yeah. Just take One advantage. good roll, please. Oh, that's a 21 to hit. Okay. Uh, give me one second. That does hit, so do your damage, but also do the d12. Oh, yeah. Have to when I see this, can I also try to hit? Uh, we're going to jump back into combat. Eight. Um, at the same thing. Same initiative mm -hmm. order. Which makes yep. sense, because I'm the one. Yep, so I'm now you're, we're back at the... Oh, I'm sorry. What was the... Was that your damage roll? Eight was the, uh... uh d12? The d d12. Okay, and then now your damage roll. Four, nine... Uh, 11 plus uh, 2, 13 damage. Okay. I'm um, not, I am trying, I think I'm trying to kill him. Jesus. All right. <laughs> so um, so uh, if it would be lethal, it's lethal. Okay. Uh, you knock him prone um, with the force of that. Um, I move my, I take my movement. I'm assuming I would have backed a little bit away from Al, so I wouldn't be engaged in him. Yeah. I'm just going to walk up. Um, yeah, I would say that at this point, Al's probably, like, moved, I don't know, like, here. I just need to check and see if the, like, cantrip is an action or a bonus action. Mm -hmm. mm, it's an action, so I'm not going to be able to guess that. So I'm just going to walk up, and I, I draw my blade, and I'm just putting it down to him. I don't know if he gets up if I can take an opportunity attack, but the, the goal is basically, like... Mm -hmm. I'm done talking about this. They, if they, this is their attitude towards this kind of magic, mm -hmm. I, I don't care. I want them to die. Okay. Um, I could say that's you could delay your turn with that, where like, you know what I'm saying, like, uh, or with the condition of if he tries to get up or do something, then I've you... already used my action though. I guess getting bold. Oh no! The, like it's your um your first in the lineup. Oh, so that happened outside the lineup. Yes, because you oh. had a surprise round. On that. Green green flame blade. I'm just oh gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna stab his body okay. or slash his body. Jesus Christ. Um, um, green flame blade is just is just flavor because the, yeah. unless they're, they're not within five feet no. of each other. Um, yep. So I have advantage because he's prone. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a uh, 
2 plus 2 plus 14, 18. Jesus Christ. 18 to hit. Not oh, 18. yeah, that hits. Um, that's a d6 plus my dexterity modifier. Yeah, but also do the um, d12. Oh, yeah. Well, that won't affect anything, but it'll be it'll be whether this is cool or not. Mm -hmm. 10. Yep, so you could do so uh, cool. an. Well, no, you oh. could do an added effect or add a d4 damage. The, the, the radiant. Holy fire mm -hmm. of of my patron mm -hmm. sears his flesh and does one d four damage. Okay, I like it. Five plus mm -hmm. two radiant, so seven. Okay. Nine damage. Okay. Uh, one second. Okay. Got it. Uh, Ed is up next, and he is certainly not happy about that. Oh, Ed or Al? Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, never mind. It doesn't matter. Right. I had advantage because he was down, but the next strike on him had advantage anyways because of guiding bolt. But yep. it doesn't... I have super advantage. <laughs> um, make a constitution save, Max. He's going to cast it from the ground? Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, wait a minute. Eh, this one's been a little luckier. Mm -hmm. I should name these guys. Hey, that's 20. All right. Uh, you feel something's trying, like, take over you a little. Um, not in a possessive way, but just, like, just something, like, enter your body, but then, like, you just push it out by sheer will. Um, and then next up is... I just respond after shaking up. It's over. Mm. Is he still on the ground? He is still on the ground. Are you over the high ground? I'm... Or did you move that? I'm on top of him. Okay. Well, actually, well... Realistically, because you said that you had the flame sword to his neck, like even though he technically could get up, I don't think that realistically, when you've got a flaming green sword to his neck, he's going to attempt to yeah. get up. Mm -hmm. Franz. Cool. I his, am. Is he on his I'm going to attack. So I like slash his front, or is he? I would say he's kind of like you know, like this, and <laughs> okay. like he went like right. that off at you. Twenty three. Who are you attacking? Uh, Ed. You have advantage. Yeah, I just rolled both. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, that hits. Okay. Come on, look at that. Oh! Wow. <laughs> I just got both hit. Max hit. Oh my so god. So that's going to be a... That's going to be 14 plus four, 18. Jesus Christ. Uh, let me do math. You He's not looking good did. whatsoever. <laughs> and what is Al going to do? I, as I hit him, I'm going to say, I'm like, Al... You know you have a choice. Al doesn't have a choice. <laughs> yeah, he does. I just give you a look. I give you a look, mm -hmm. and you, we can make some sort of inside check if you want. That's mm -hmm. like... That's what? I'm going to kill Al. That's fine. Really? But, that's I mean, but <laughs> you know, I, like, so we did. So yeah. that's all, that's all just non, that's all um, non-verbal. Like, well, that's fine, but then we can get him out of combat. Just, yeah. Um, Al... He looks like his hand moves in a similar way that like Ed's like does, like as if he's gonna do something, and then he stops and he goes he got his information from somewhere. And if you kill him, you won't ever know it. That's cool. I'm good with that. Oh no, I wanna know. And he's like and <clears throat> Ed doesn't look like he's in a space to talk, regardless of if he'd be willing to corroborate. Yeah. Ugh, whatever. Work with you guys. Um, but Al goes, he, someone gave him information on how to do this. He, I know he did. Spare him. If we kill, if we kill Ed without learning the, the source of his magic and information, then we're, we're just curing the symptom and not the cause. I look over to Franz and I say, Al, will you yield? Uh, what do you mean by that? I like, want, is, is basically, this in I general? Want, or I like want Al to him? get down on his like knees and I want him to like be like there with like his blade. So I'm going to interrogate Ed. I'm going to tie him that's, I'm going to tie them both up with rope. I mean, you don't just do that. Right, but, no, but that's yeah, what I said. Okay. Like, that's what you want to do. But I yeah. just want, I want, you know, I, what I want to do is I want to stay above Ed with, mm -hmm. with the sword. And I want, um, I want Al to be in danger mm -hmm. and for Ed to be like, you know, it's, okay. it's your brother. Uh, Al goes, 
I'm not going to yield if you're going to kill him after he gives you the information he knows. I hold up um, some rope. Tie up your brother. This is your only chance. Take it or leave it. And he looks... He he doesn't, like... What? He Why doesn't he brush you him? off, um, so but he he's more on. concerned yeah. about the person that has the sword to, <laughs> against his brother right now. No. And he goes, if he tells you, will you let him go? I cast light on mm -hmm. my blade, so it's... <laughs> There's just a huge flurry of light because, like, mm -hmm. the flame is like different. Also, roll a d12 on that one. Yep. Twelve. Oh, Nine. That's normal. Okay. Yeah. The light, mm -hmm. the blade flurries up, and I look at him, mm -hmm. and just with complete sincerity, I'm not lying. Uh huh. Your brother's already dead. Oh fuck. He's damn. Right now, you can tell mm -hmm. us, and you get to live. Wait, wait, wait. What? What? I don't even... What's going on? He... Max has already decided that this guy's fucking dying. I'm like, if we're parlaying, we're officially parlaying, we're not doing anything, okay? But he's need... Al, you need to tie up your brother, and then we're gonna tie you up. Why would Al tie him up? So we can keep our blades out on them. If they try to make a move, we can get Bogs on them. can do that. That's... No. I'm not gonna trust Al to tie him up. I'm not going to ask him to. I'm going to. I'll tie up your brother. I'm on top of his brother. A united front, fellas. A united this front. <laughs> Box, what do you think? And. I have my eyes. Yeah. Well, who are, who are you paying I'm, attention to right now? Who is he paying attention to? Can I see? Do an inside check. Or not inside, Jesus, like perception. Yeah. Oh, 20 either way. All yeah. right, who are you paying attention to? I'm talking to L. Okay. I'm focused on Ed. Okay. Um, and I was... I, I'm ready to You're claim, claim right? on the yeah. second he does Go. anything. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It looks Go. like it's a spell or yeah. anything. Um, Al's like, I'm not going to do anything unless I have, the, I have your word that Ed's going to live. We all know no one's and word here is good right now. Have we... We haven't done anything. We told you that there were dangerous things here. We told you that we're mon monsters here. We told you that it was, you know, we were paying extra for confidentiality and for the nature of this mission. We haven't taken our word away for any reason. We've done what you've said and we yes. are we're seeing this through. We're 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 ridding this house of the monsters. We have to have your word that you won't conjure them again. More the next time innocent people could be hurt. You lied to us. You lied to our faces. I oh. didn't. You know, at this, at some point, you're going to have to start accepting responsibility in all of this. And he goes, no one was hurt. You're the only people. I talked to Ed. I don't care about Al. Okay. Ed. Mm -hmm. And he's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, literally. I, I kick like, him over so that we're making uh, eye contact. Okay. And I got the blade, like, right there, just ready to... Mm -hmm. You can tell us where you got some of this information and your brother gets to live. What do you say? And he, he kind of looks at you and he goes, you think you're righteous. It doesn't matter if I'm righteous. No, but you think you are, and that's the same thing. You know what's funny? What? I don't. And nice. I slit his throat. Fuck. Oh. Oh. We're going to have to hold off on that because whose turn was it in the uh, lineup? It was just my turn. So I did all that damage and then we kind of okay. cut combat for a second. Yeah, because then it would be Al's turn. So, um, because he definitely, like, you're kind of the, the, what's it called? Like, what, where he's putting his focus on because you're the one that's about to fucking kill his brother. Um, so, he is going to make an attack when he sees you do that. Whether or not he succeeds before you do anything. So, please make... Hmm. What's he going to do? I know. Uh, one, two... Opportunity four. attack. He is. Um... He's ru rushing through, so you cannot. Green is him, but uh, green what? is green is green is box. box. I'm yeah. white. 
So. And he's going to insert, like, himself, like, he's going to be over his brother, and now, like, the sword's going to be, like, on his neck instead. 17. Okay, Wait. that hits. What? I said, what? How, how does, like, I just, like, that doesn't, how does or, that like, work? So you've got, you've got the sword on Ed's neck, pretty much. Mm -hmm. 15. And he, and Al goes over him, and, like, he'll, I, I would say he he's going to get slashing damage from it, but he's going to, like, push the blade away. Um, from the neck, from his brother's neck, essentially. All right, so that's, like that's his turn. Yeah. So I'm, I haven't split. I'm, I just. Well, no, because you we weren't out of combat at that point. That was okay. all a, a very long talking. That was a long <laughs> six seconds. It was. Okay. Fifteen points of damage. Okay, that fucks him up. And. Where is it? Okay. Yeah, he's, he's looking really fucked up, too. So both of them have lots of owls on them. Boggs, it's your turn. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a glance over at the two bodies. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't trust uh, reality anymore, so I just want to make sure that they're still, <laughs> you know, dead bodies. Mm -hmm. um, they're still dead. I think, I, I think I'm going to um, attempt, I guess, to grapple. Uh, Al and, and and remove him from. Okay. Um, Sounds good. Yeah. And just so you know, he took three of the like you hit him for fifteen, and Eric he pushed the sword away and received um, uh, three points of piercing damage from pushing it away. Okay. Um. So yeah, make a strength check with advantage. Advantage. So you roll Rolling. twice. 11 minus 1 is 10. Okay. Uh, you're not Forts. able to pull him off. I'm not very strong. Nope. Um, and then now it is Mags' turn. Can I see Ed's face? Um, I would say that not really. You, If you'd like duck down, you'd be able to see it, but from your... I'll just say last chance, Ed. Mm. Um, and he just... Shakes his head. Green flame so. blade mm -hmm. on Ed, but it's gonna actually hit the other one. So yeah. that's advantage on the strike because he's prone. Mm -hmm. yep. That's a nineteen to hit. That hits. Um. Okay. So that's gonna be. A, oh yeah, D twelve to see if the green flame blade mm -hmm. works. It's a two, so I guess it won't work. Uh, it works less than normal. So roll a D four and. Subtract, Subtract that. Okay. Okay, that's a three. So that means it'll do one. The the flame portion will do one damage to mm -hmm. Al. Okay. The blade does seven damage to Ed. Okay. Make a make a perception check. Just a ten. Okay, you can't tell whether he's oh, alive or wait. not. Oh, sorry, that was a, a nines and sixes. Whoa, it's a 13. <laughs> All right, you fucking killed him. Um, Franz, you're up. Okay, I'm going to grapple, now, or attempt to grapple. Mm -hmm. um, is he prone or anything? Uh, you would have advantage, because okay. he's on top of his... Well, one's a net 20, so... Okay, yeah, you grapple him. And, and I just, have... I'm just going to, I'm pulling him okay. off his body, and I'm like, it's over. Mm. We're done here. Um, but does Al believe it's done? I can roll if you'd like. Uh, what what kind of roll are you trying I to do? I feel like... Is it a persuasion? Is it an intimidation? <sighs> I feel like Franz in this moment is trying to be like sincere, so more persuasion. Mm. Go for it. That one... Yeah. Alright, he doesn't believe it. Uh, one second. I want to pull up. What's he gonna do, man? But I do have He's him grappled. grappled. You do yeah. have him grappled. Fuck, what's he gonna do? Called Ghostbusters. But that was nice. What is a grapple? What can a grapple character do? Uh, they can strength contest to get out of it. 
I think that's that's their action. Hmm? They, I think that's the only thing they can do is yeah. con is contest to get out, and then that becomes their action. Um. Yeah, he's going to try and resist that. Okay. So he rolls an eight. I also rolled up, oh, but I have a nine. <laughs> All right. Grapplers so. can attack. They just your your speed becomes zero, and you can't benefit from any bonus to your speed. Mm -hmm. Uh, right. Grapplers or people who are grapplers? People who are grapplers. Uh, Boggs, it's your turn. He's still grappled. He's grappled. Um, and I guess at this point, like, he sees that his brother is, like, dead, dead. Um, and he just starts screaming incoherently. Um, Boggs, it's your turn. All right. Um, I want to move up to him. Mm hmm. Put my hand around his throat and just say, "It's time to save yourself. Do what's right." I uh, do an intimidation check. I'm not very scared. <laughs> Can you do the Pee Wee Herman voice? No. <laughs> <You're fine. laughs> While trying to intimidate him. All right, Mags, you're up. I'm gonna kill him. Jesus. Yeah, I'm like, Max, we, we, sh we, we can save him. As I walk up uh -huh. and just... Okay. Uh, with advantage, because he's, like, grappled. Oh, yeah. The 14 plus 4, 18? Yeah. I'm going to green flame play it again. Mm-hmm. There's no one to see it but us. How much? Seven damage plus an eleven on the so D twelve. Add a uh... one. So the the flame <laughs> lights up. It only does a little extra, but it just the whole wound just mm -hmm. sears. And does this kill him? It does not. Okay. He is still now. Now, like the like the emotional agony has turned into physical agony as he continues to scream. Franz, you're up. You were holding him yeah. hostage. Is, is Franz burned by that? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. Um, no. You're holding this guy steady as Mags just fucks up his shit left and right. Al, what do you even want? I don't think that he's no. able to, like, talk right now. Um, like, you guys killed the only family he had left after burning the shit out of his real mom and dad. And he's just found out that his brother's been, like, doing failed experiments. Mm -hmm. Um, what, I don't think that's really okay. upset him all that much, but there's a lot going on right now. And he okay. is, like, inches from death. I'm just gonna, Everything sucks. I'm just gonna let go of him. I'm like, I'm not, not participating in this one. And then I'm just gonna... I'm engaged in combat with them. Mm -hmm. I'm like, Max, there's there's no point in this. This is senseless. And I get that I'm not going to participate in this one. Um, let me just see one thing. Okay. Um, you see him, um cast something on himself. He goes just like that. Um, and you'll have an opportunity attack as he starts hauling ass out. Eight. Does not hit. Alright. Um, his speed is 40. So... 40? Yep. So, and he's... Uh, so right now he would be 40 feet away. Um, okay, is there a manor like in a populated setting or is it in that? It's kind of a little isolated. Okay. Um, Just good to know. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Ryan, or Boggs. So he's out, so the, he so is, he is uh, out the door already. Yeah, so if he was here 5, 10, 15, so 40 minus 15, 25. 25 feet out the door. And if we wanted to, like, just flip stuff over. All and right. You, this is the ins right, right. You have to move 15 feet before you're out the door, but 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. He's here. So imagine 15 feet. 
or where we are right now? Um, I guess I'm going to cast Entangle then. Okay, what's the uh, range on that? Though? 90 feet. Okay. Uh, and you're going to cast it where he's at right now? Yeah. Much? Okay. Well, yeah. 20 square feet. So, something like... It's it's four across. Yeah. yeah. I want to make sure. I'm like, I don't want him to just back up and get out of it, so... Well, he's, you know, he'll be restrained. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't necessarily restrain him. Yeah, it makes it uh, difficult to rain, right? Yeah. I thought things... Or I think uh, I think it's a. There's, he has to make a save at the yeah. beginning, and then it's difficult terrain. Yeah. If a creature is standing here, you must pass a strength save or be restrained. Mm -hmm. A strength save. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we're back to the top with Did Max. Did he make a strength? Save? Oh, it's at it's at oh. his turn. No, it's when it, the spell is cast. Oh, okay. Fifteen plus something, which I imagine passes. Yeah. All right, Max, it's your turn. I'm gonna move up as mm -hmm. close as I can get without getting like while trying to move around, trying to cut him off. All right, so I'll, you're at 15 now. Oh wait, I'm you're right. at 15 now. So we'll go around the left side. Yep. Around, so like I'm trying. 20, 25, 30. Yep. Okay. Sacred flame. Dex I'll... save throw. It's not gonna do it. Uh, that'll be. Roll a d12. Nine. Okay, works normal. Sorry, indeed. That's fine. Uh, really? Alright. Four damage. Alright. Uh, Franz, you're up. I'm gonna go search Ed's body. Okay, we'll deal with that later. Um, Al is... So we got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35... 40, so that's his normal movement, and then we're at dash. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And now it's Bob's turn. I, um, I don't do anything. Okay. Mags, you're up. Okay, so Sacred Flame him, so you can make the deck save. What's the range? It's 90 feet. Wanted to make sure. 14 plus stuff. It depends on what the plus stuff is. Uh, 2, so it'd be a 16. Alright, he saves. Okay. Um, I imagine you're not gonna take a turn. I can hold on my turn. Are you gonna run after him? Well, you wouldn't, your character wouldn't know. No, really, um, yeah. so. Yeah, I'm just looking. I'm, I'm searching Ed's body. Yeah. So we're at. He's going to dash, so he's going to have 70 feet of movement. I haven't, mo I haven't finished my turn. Mm -hmm. I haven't finished my turn. I haven't okay. moved. Okay. I move. Whatever he can go. All right. So he dashes out. We are now out of combat. Uh, if you want to do an investigation, <laughs> yeah. That is investigation. It's twenty-three. All right. Uh, you find all the the. Well, actually, I'm going to text you what you find. Cool. Um, Boggs, what are you doing? Boggs is there. He'd be seeing him do the investigation of the body. He would, but I don't think he would. Like, uh, are you trying to be stealthy about what you're finding? Not particularly. Oh, okay. Uh, in which case, you find the uh, like the coin purses of each of your payments. Yep. Um, if you're looking for more than that, are you, were you just looking for that, or were you looking for, like, Everything that, Everything that okay. he has, yeah. Um, he's got a fancy uh, watch okay. uh, on him. There's some materials, just write magic materials, because okay. you personally would not know mm -hmm. what it is. 
Um, there's his personal journal. Yeah. Um, what else would he have? Give me one moment. Um, there's a second journal um, written in a language that you... I don't think that... What languages do you know? I know Common, Elvish, and Thieves Camp. Okay, it's not in a language that you know. Um, what else? And then I would just probably say, like, maybe another 30 GP of his own. Okay. So I toss you your coin purse. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, and I'm like, okay. I'm burning this place down. I want to ask after the journal. You, uh, get any designs really on that? Now. Okay. We'll, we'll worry about that after I start burning this place down. I'm quite right. sullen, and I look to you, too. And... I do a mags. Yeah, you, you have the coin bags. What I have seen that you have. Oh, I throw you yours. So yeah. I, do you I catch it? it in my bag. Yeah. I look very shocked that you can catch a coin bag out of the air. How much I, was it when you're white? I want to say it was seventy-five, or because it started. At yeah, it was so whatever it is. Seventy-five it it in my bag, and I look at you two and say, "Listen, let this one be my burden to bear. I'll take care of the house. I'll burn it down." You guys get out of here. I'll take care of the aftermath. I'll meet you... Where do we want to meet? Dorking is the nearest town. I'll meet you in Dorking. Okay. Uh, one last thing. I want to investigate the uh, parents' bodies. Okay. Anything? What are you looking for? That's a one, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I just wanted to see They okay. might be alive. They might... Oh! I'm like... Like, you nudge one, and, like, it, it had thawed out, so, like... The arm kind of flopped over when you were, and you like scared yeah. yourself. I'm like, I, I'm like, Max, I, I want you to know that that wasn't personal. I just couldn't. That's. He didn't need to die at that minute. Hope you understand. And then, Mike, you ready, Bugs? It's Mosey. Okay. All right. This is gonna take a sec. I'm gonna speed this up by saying uh, everything that I do. Okay. I'm gonna check the body. Which one? Of Ed. Okay. I'm, but I'm looking particularly for anything that would link him back, link me back to, link him to where he got this mm -hmm. magic. It's only a ten. Uh, his pockets are fucking empty. Okay. I, I wonder why. All right. I'm not, all right, so just for brevity's sake, I want to find the, the oil. They, they're a rich house. I assume that they yeah. have oil all over the place. I'm going to spread it everywhere. Mm -hmm. Sacred flame, that stuff. Mm -hmm. Set everything on fire. Mm -hmm. Turn myself into Ed. Oh shit. Walk over to the neighbor. What neighbor? Is, oh. You said it's like it's not it's like not that isolated. I assume that they have neighbors. Uh it's yeah, it's not that isolated in the sense that like it's, it's not, not like six that, days out of town. Yeah. Um it's kind of its own place. Like a ranch but, kind of? Like Yeah, there's not really so much a neighbor. Unfortunately, like once this place um, is like lit a flame, is would is there any place nearby that oh, would see papers be, on him? I'm sorry. Are Ed's papers on him? I took everything. Yeah, took and the papers, papers would be with that. Yeah. Okay, um, the clo just... sorry, the closest thing is Dorking, which is like we said earlier, like an hour away. Um, that would be the closest establishment um, because it's a fairly um, unpopulated <laughs> area of Taizhou. Taizhou. Um, if you do a history check, maybe there's like a, uh, like, do a history check, or a nature check. Uh, I think I'm about even in both of those, just plus mm -hmm. one for me. That's just, that's where those six left twice, and I'm seven. Um, well, with that, you would know that the, even though the closest establishment I mean, I've would be come here not twice, right? I've... Yeah, you notice that there was a pathway. It didn't look like it was leading to anywhere serious, but you can imagine that it might be a grounds crew person or something like that because it's too big of a mansion for the boys to have taken care of on their own I'll if they it. took care of it at all. Um, you follow it, and there's just like this little like hut almost, or like not a hut, a, co a cottage. Um, and there's... Like, what time is it? It'd be pretty late at night by this point, because you started um, at around twilight, and it's been quite some time. So I imagine it's about like two or three in the morning, and uh, so the lights are out right now. I go up and knock on the door. Bang on the door. Okay. Help, help. Oh, shit. Um, so there's no answer at first. Um, 
and after like a couple minutes of you like banging, finally this like super sleepy uh, looking, uh, where were they going to be? I think it be a human. Um, she answers the door, she's in a nightgown, um, and she's got like a hat because she, um, like her hair's a mess because she was just sleeping so she had to do something to make it look somewhat okay. And she goes, Master Wright, what's wrong? I'm breathing really heavy. Sorry, that's funny. <laughs> I'm breathing Sorry. super heavy, and I just uh -huh. say, there's been an accident. Everything's on fire. And then I've, I've waited long enough. I don't um, know. Like, everything is really gone yeah. already. There's nothing this person can do. You need to go. <sighs> okay. Do a deception with advantage, because that was good. Um, I'm asking them to, like, go get help. Uh -huh. Oh, wait. One of those was a D12. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, that's a 16. Yeah, she fucking believes you, and she goes, "All right, what do you want me to do?" Go get, just get help. I okay, don't, and she like um. She, I don't know where Al is. Uh, okay, uh, so she like she goes to like naturally like try and lead you inside, but then she remembers who you are, and she like pulls her hand back. And she goes, and I give her like a slight squint, like not uh, like I'm super angry, but like that was kind of weird. Yeah, well, because she she wants to help you as a person, but like. Ed's also kind of shitty to mm -hmm. not rich people. Um, <laughs> so she, like, motions you inside. She goes, well, it's it's not your home, but stay safe, stay here. Um, and she she doesn't check to see if you actually do stay. Um, and it's going to be hard to leave someplace and then check if someone stays. But yeah. Well, no, I mean, like, she doesn't check to see if you actually go inside. Oh, okay. Um, she, in her nightgown and cap still, she... Uh, Pulls on some slippers and rushes off to uh, her horse that is tied, in the, you know, to a little like mini little stable, um, and hauls ass. Uh, I return to the house one more time. Uh, how mansion or cottage? Mansion. Okay. Mansion one more time, seeing it aflame, and I just search deep within to see what I feel. Um, I'll text it to you. All right. And then I head out to Dorking. Mm -hmm. But I'm Megs again. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, do you guys beeline it to dorking, or do you kind of slow down to the point where Mags might be able to catch up? I'm going straight for a bar. So the first bar <laughs> I see, if it's on the way. Uh, well, it would be in dorking. Yes. So, uh, but before you get to I'm dorking... I'm not, like, running or anything, right? Yeah, we're not, like, sprinting. Yeah. We're just, like, okay. we're moseying. Yeah, we're so moseying. So, I'll say that the... There's no urgency. The, um... The three of you um, are able to get there at the same time. Okay. Um, and the guards, you know, you were as um, Tria the last time, so they haven't recognized you before. Or are you still as uh, Ed right now? I'm Meg's now. Oh, yeah, sorry, you said that. Um, and he goes, papers? Here you go. I'm assuming I'm, I'm a tight out citizen. I would have papers, I assume. Okay. I... I no, no, that's fine. I, I just wasn't sure if you were giving Ed's papers over because you had Ed's oh, papers. I, so I, I like, got no. my leather armor. No, yeah. obviously. No. I got all my things. Okay. Um, but here's the thing. So what would your papers have? Like, because there's a reason for leaving, and this is also kind of like, if there's any black spot on your record, it would be on your papers. So are these fake papers? I would assume. Or would this be you but a clean record? You know. Yeah, they're like they're clearly like doctor papers, but I'm assuming because mm -hmm. it, like it would show that we've taken a job at the right mansion. Okay. So it like we're just returning back to town. Uh, well, no, you all uh, you haven't been in town before. Oh. So these would um you haven't been in Dorking yet. You pass near it on your way to yeah. unless you wanted to have stayed. No. In yeah, I I think this would be part of my, like my forgery kit. Yeah. Okay. They're, they're totally just like forged clean papers. Okay. Um, he's gonna do an insight check because that's his job um he rolled pretty well and he looks at you and he goes come on but i'm just a kid man and just life trying. is a nightmare <laughs> everything's um, hell at all times uh roll how about this roll to see how well your papers are like doctored okay and use your deception modifier that's gonna be 17. okay it's not quite good enough, so you're going to have to uh, convince him. Um, and he like looks at you and goes, you are just a kid, but I kind of know that these are bullshit, so why don't you just line the pockets of them? Man, like, I'm just just trying to get back into town. Yeah, I've got a family to feed. Well, cool, man, cool. I'm sure just you get paid five, really well. Just five GP. Come on. Here, five. You know what? What do I have? I hand him, like, a bunch of plates. 
I'm like, this is worth 5 GP. Just take the place. <laughs> okay. And he looks, and he's, he actually gets a little bit of a chuckle out of that. Because, uh, like, you're still, you still are a kid, so yeah. you kind of get a, away with more than what these two would have. And he's looking at you with a bit, is, bit of distrust, and he goes, we're going to have to have a little bit of a talk. I I uh, okay. And he, as soon as you open your mouth, he's like, well, no, I wanted to talk to you about it. Oh, okay. Me as the guard or me as the DM? It's the DM. Okay, what's up? I, I, I don't know how I would expect to be uh, received at this place, so, like, right. I don't know if I would approach the guard. Oh, okay. Um, so, would you, where would you be? Would you be hanging back at this point? Um, yeah, I mean, is this, like, a wooded area, or is it, like, in the middle of a plains, or, like... There would be, like, woods or, you know, somewhere where you could just kind of sit behind a tree or a rock or something and just relax. But I wouldn't say it's close enough where you could overhear what's going on. Okay, But you yeah. can do a history check if you wanted to remember what it's like. Or, like, try and think of stories. Damn. Uh, seven. That's dorky. <laughs> um, I guess nine would be it's still darkening. Yeah. Um, um, go ahead. I'm I'm going to be like out. I'm going to have uh, have um, departed the main path into mm -hmm. some wooded area, mm -hmm. some sort of cover, uh, and I'm uh, and I'll be um, watching this okay. unfold. Um, and he goes. Uh, reason for entry. Uh, and he has your papers right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just thirsty. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. going to the, just going to the tavern, man. All right. I uh, am curious though. Just like, just, just. If you don't want to tell me, it's fine. Like, what tipped you off? I'm sorry. What tipped you off my papers? And he laughs and he goes, you know, I was gonna tell you, and I was debating whether or not because that would kind of be making my college jobs harder. Um, but you, you spelled Taiju wrong. God, damn it. Okay, uh, thank you. And he hands it back. Uh, and I, I changed my error. Yeah. I, I That was all I could come up with. <clears throat> now, this Fine. Um, and he uh, looks at Mags and he goes, papers? I come in later, remember. Oh, we you guys been... would have been able to like get there at pretty much the same time. So you could choose whether they're at the same time, I don't want to go into this stupid town. But I'm, I'm, I'm already going in, so... I told them to meet me there. I'm assuming that all the stuff I just did took a lot of, enough time to... Okay. ...to come in after. So we can still do the papers, please, but I'm, I just, you know... Sounds good. I assumed I wasn't there this whole time. That is fine. So you are in town. Cool. I'm going, I'm going to the tavern. Okay. Um, there's two. Um, so... You, I mean, you've never been here before, so tell me what you I want to go to the one that clearly looks like a dive. Okay. Um, so, are you going to ask anyone, or are you- Is there anybody on the street? Yeah, uh, oh no, it's fucking, like, midnight, so. Yeah. Uh, no, so the way that you know where the tavern is, it's because the only thing that's hopping right, right now. Right. Uh, can I make, like, a, I guess, a perception check to see what the two options are? Uh, you can, but I mean, it's a town, so it's kind of like sitting here and wondering what's going on in Lapham Hall. Okay, yeah, I want to go to the one that clearly looks more, like, destitute. Okay. Where, like, my people- Okay. Would be at. Um, so, I mean, this is the closer one out of the two. It's like going to like a middle class place as opposed to like Whitefish Bay, you know? So yeah, there's yeah. no like lower class place here. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so you enter the Hopping Giant, which is a single story timber and brick building. Yeah. Um, it's got a reinforced wooden door um, where there's a giant, like it's like... Uh, engraved in the door, mm -hmm. um, and there's like this big, you know, like little pull handle. Yeah. Um, and so you go in, and it's it's even though it's three in the morning, it's it's hot. They said it was midnight. What? They said it was midnight. I can't do times. So does it doesn't matter? It's one. It's super. It's super. It's super in the middle of the night. Right. So, but yet it's still hopping. Yeah. Um, and uh, there's a there's an innkeeper behind the bar. Yeah. Um, just kind of polishing. Uh, glasses right now, and she's this uh, female elf, and you see uh, attached like to a belt at her hip is this like big hammer. That's it. Oh man, can you tell me about that? That looks cool. Where'd you get that hammer? Oh, and she like looks at him and she goes like, "Well, wouldn't you like to know?" That's what I'm asking. <laughs> and she just laughs and she goes, "What can I get for you?" Oh man, what's uh, what what y'all serving? 
Uh, so we got a uh, almond bread with blue cheese that comes with mug cider. Uh, five, that'd be five copper. We got a uh, boiled piece that comes with beer, but you're a little too young to have that. So uh, last time I checked, there weren't like limits here. Papers. Yeah. And she is there a drinking minimum drinking age in Taicho? Uh, I mean, she like looks around. And she goes, "Well, the sheriff doesn't really approve of it, but like, Thomas not to tell it." I, I'm just passing through. Okay. I'm just I'm just looking I'm just looking for a meat. That's all I'm looking for. All right. Um. So she goes out for four coppers. You could get a uh, some meat and uh, some boiled peas. I'm good on the food. I'm 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 just here to drink. All right. Still comes with boiled peas. Okay. Give it to I don't know, a kid in the back or something. Okay. Um. So I imagine. I mean, I'm not gonna make it keep track of copper. No. Um, um. Can I make a perception check to see who like who's in here? What people yeah. are doing? That is perception to be 20. A natural 20. Jesus Christ. Uh, you see... Oh, um, there is a... Um, so, most of the people here are, uh, for the most part, you know, middle classy. Yeah. But there's a, uh, a dwarf uh, female that looks a little bit... Like, she's dressed nicer than what you would expect mm -hmm. to come here. Um, at another table, there is another female dwarf who's got, like, really rough-looking hands... Um, there's, fuck, there's so many dwarves here. Another dwarf, uh, sitting across from her. Um, and he's, he's, uh, actually, like, sort of, like, thin for mm -hmm. a dwarf, so he doesn't look all that well. Um, at another table, there's a elf merchant, um, who looks pretty pleasant. She's got straight, uh, white hair and dark brown eyes. Mm -hmm. Um, her clothing's a little worn, so she kind of looks like the, like, most, like, this is the demographic that this is for. Okay. Um, and then finally, there's one more dwarf who um, is just kind of meandering about, kind of seeing, like, you know, they, he's, like, eyeing each other dwarf there to mm -hmm. see if they're in, like, a familiar or, like, a rival clan, essentially. Okay. Do I, like, notice, like, any tension in there? Or does it seem, like, jovial? Or... Um, it's, it's fairly jovial. I think the only tension, really, is just the one dwarf that's, like, trying to check out which dwarf like, person he yeah. can, like, approach. I'm gonna, like, not yell, but, like, loudly go, Hey, buddy, what you up to? Uh, and he, like, like, looks at you, and he's like, Well, just trying to enjoy a good good brew. Yeah, man, wanna come over here and talk? And he's like, sure, because you just pretty much eliminated his, like, issue, <laughs> where he's like, man, there's there's a bunch of dwarves here. I only want to sit with a dwarf if I'm approaching them, but if someone's gonna approach me, then absolutely fine. Hello, he goes, uh, what's your name, buddy? Uh, I am Franz. I'm new into town. What's up with this paper stuff? Oh, are are you not around? Are you not from this I'm, area whatsoever? No, I'm, in the, I'm from the capital. Like, this is... Mm. Well, uh, so pretty much every town now is starting to create its own borders just to regulate, you know, who goes in, who goes out. So we could finally, uh, I, I mean, I guess... It, it, you know, I don't know how I feel about it, but it does make me feel a little bit safer knowing, you know, who's here, who, you know, who we should look out for. So that's pretty much the purpose of this, having uh, guards checking everyone in. For you guys caught shit. anybody yet? Yeah. Damn. That's really impressive. I mean, that's, that's the point. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, they don't catch everyone. Yeah, of course, of course. What are you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to enter the town. Okay. I'm. I have a black guy. I'm changeling, black guy. Okay. Um, like changeling looking or mags with a black guy. Mags with a black guy. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. All right. So let's pause there. Um. So you are about to enter town, and the guards go papers. So I have papers from my uh, Gorio. Mm -hmm. Where I'm from. From yep. when I entered the border, so I show him those. Sounds good. And he goes, uh, reason for, uh, entry? Oh, well, I was staying with, uh, this, this guy, but he just got all violent tonight. I don't know what was up, but I just wanted to get out. I just want to get a drink. I'm just trying to think things through. Mm. And he kind of looks awkward and he goes, you, you got a place to stay tonight? I, uh, I got, I got enough <laughs> coin to stay at, stay at the tavern. And he goes, okay, okay. Uh, which which tavern? Uh, do you know? Do you know which? Uh, and he's not asking as a grilling question. He he doesn't know if you know which one you want to stay at or if you know oh, the place well enough. Oh, uh, the 
what's the cheaper one? I forget the name. Uh, of it. Oh, Hoppin' Giant. Okay, I'll go there. Okay, so he writes that down and he passes it over. Thank you. All right, what are you doing at this point, Box? Uh, so I would have been waiting on Max to show up, so I've watched her enter. Um, how big is oh, this? Town? Would, he have, would he have stopped me? Like, say, no. Hey, okay. Oh, yeah, well, no, I don't think so. Okay. Um, towns make me nervous because I'm a hermit. Um, mm. So, like, I'm kind of thinking maybe I'll, I'll, I'll sort of maybe walk around the perimeter to see what's what about this town. I would maybe say look into a, yeah. It's about a mile in uh, circumference. Okay. So it takes you like you know no more than twenty minutes to. Is there anybody chilling outside? Like. Uh, travelers, caravans parked. Uh, not really. Um. People either pass by or they stay in the town. So there's only one point of entry and exit, which is where your companions have gone through. Like one, one, like it's, it's, it's the in and the out. Okay. Um, really split the party. Yeah. yeah. I buy the my dwarf oh. friend a beer. Oh, he loves you. What's his name? Uh, hey, buddy, what's your name? Oh, let me pull that up. <laughs> it's Mirka. Mirka! Yeah. Awesome. Um, yeah. And he goes, uh, you know, thanks, buddy. I really needed that. Yeah. I mean, let's get this look. Let's get this place jump in. As he says that, I uh, walk in. Uh huh. Man! No, no longer have the black guy. Okay. Come on in! Mirka, this is my uh, this is my buddy and Max. He, and he looks and he goes, ah, oh, wonderful, new friends, right? And I uh, he waves you over. I, I, so I, I signal to the um the innkeeper. I'm like, pint for my buddy over here. And he goes, so Max, right? I this is to the barkeep. Oh. I don't need any drinks. Okay. I'm now. I guess I'm now like dual dual fisting. Mm -hmm. And on. the barkeep, like she's like looking at you and like. Like don't don't get carried away there. I'm I'm good. I'm, I'm good. clearly tired, mm -hmm. and a little sullen and ornery. But I'm oh like, what? Hello, what's up? And he's like, well, I, I just met your friend. It's nice. Are oh. you uh, long day, huh? Been long day. It's late. You wouldn't nice. believe our day, but we're letting off some steam. or we got some fresh coin in our pockets. Where's Fog? I have no idea. I thought he was with you. Kind of scurried away once we got close to the town, so I assumed met up with you. Did he say anything? No, I mean, he just didn't, like, he, have you seen him? He doesn't want to, he doesn't fit in. And he... Body shaming. The, <laughs> and, uh, Mirka goes, what do you mean? He just looks a little different after the whole impact thing. Just, people look different. And, uh, Mirka goes, like, so? Yeah, like he's, he's like he's just he, and he goes, oh, right, not not everywhere is yeah yeah so welcome. yeah so he's just he's just playing a little little safe you know mm. all right uh, he, uh, nice he to meet you hmm? meh uh, no I'm uh, I'm not that's not this is role playing uh, uh, <laughs> yeah I'm, I got to go to bed and I pay the innkeeper what is it whatever it is mm -hmm. and I am off sounds good. Um, he, uh, Mirka turns to you and he goes, you know, I'm not going to say everyone is kind to magic folk here, but, um, the rule is you don't use magic, you, nothing happens to you. I, I like that. I like that. I mean, I, man, I've seen enough weird stuff. I think that's, I think that's how we should handle it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, if, I mean, if you wanted to find your buddy, you know, we, we will have a place to stay here. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, so what are you doing? Are you from here? What are you doing What are you doing in town? Uh, I mean, I'm not necessarily from this town. Um, mm -hmm. I'm from a nearby uh, mountain. Uh, I don't really live in above ground. And he kind of, like, <laughs> snorts, you know, he's like, yeah. I mean, believe ground, me, like, I, I, stay, I stay on the ground as much as I possibly can, too. Uh, <laughs> He goes, not my kind of underground, but I get your drift. Um, and he goes, uh, I'm, I'm looking for my brother. You know. Your brother? Is, is, like, is he lost? Uh, well, he's lost to me. Um, I don't know if he is, you know, lost himself. I don't know. I mean, just one day he up and left. Don't know why. What's his name? 
Uh, Birka. Birka, Mirka and Birka. Well, if I ever come across a hero of a Birka, yes, we didn't come up with that. If I ever come across a Birka, I mean, I'll, I'll send him here. No, and I want to. I want to. Uh, it's a B. Like he is M Y R K J A. Okay. So this is B Y R K J A. Okay. Okay, Mirka. Well, I mean, I you know, I, I can't. I can try to find them. I'm if I ever come across, you know, I have a. I have ears in a lot of places, so mm. if I ever if I ever hear about a beer cut, like all right, you see my face? Yeah, he looks the same with twins. So. Oh, okay, that makes that makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. um, is he is he like? Did he run away? Is he like is he gonna like like give me a fight or like resist me or is he gonna just like? I don't I, I I don't know anymore. Like he just like now we, now you're just like sharing drinks and he's yeah. just like man, you know, it would be easy if I, I saw a change or something, but one day he's just not there. Has like, I mean, ever since the impact of like, how have the dwarves been? Like, I feel like I haven't really. Oh, yeah. Don't get me started. Um, you know, all of the like earth activity, uh, and he doesn't really have a word for earthquake or yeah. volcano, so he just calls it earth activity. Yeah. I can't Ru imagine that. Ruined all of the halls. Ruined all of our hiding spots. We had to create new shit from the old shit, and it's just so much work. And you know. Now there's kind of a divide, you know, there's some dwarves that are there to rebuild, there's some that just say fuck it and live above, and what the fuck? Is that what Birka wants? I don't know. Fuck. Did he, did, so he, did he leave because, I mean, you don't, you don't really know, did he leave because of the impact? I don't know. Um, I mean, it's been a year. Well, okay, man. Well, I uh, mean, I will, I will find him. I'm getting drunk. Yes. I'll find him and he oh. will hopefully be safe. You have my word. And he just gives you a big old hug. Like, he doesn't genuinely believe it's going to happen, but he just loves how supportive you are. Right. And he hugs the shit out of you. Make a, uh, make like a con save. Oh, that is a 16. All right. Uh, he, he, he like cracks like your back a little, like, but oh, in a good feels, way. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. Oh, man, I, you cannot, after my day, I cannot no. even begin to tell you. Oh. All right. Boggs, what are you doing? Uh, is, I'm just going to camp outside. Like, I don't, I don't think I'm going to spend out of town at all. That's fine. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty comfortable out there. Do you want to carouse? Sorry? Yeah. Uh, would you want to try and carouse uh, and roll like a D100 and see what happens in the town based since you're drunk and I imagine you don't make the smartest of choices? <laughs> or would you just, you know, yeah, turn let's, in for the let's night? do it. So I roll a D10 and a percentage die. You would know that I'm upstairs and that I've invited him up just in yeah. case. And here's the thing, you can keep digging for information, I just don't know if you would... Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know how this works. One second. So right. the D10 was a 4, and then the percentage die was a 70. Okay, so, uh, it'd be 74. 74, right? so yeah, 74. Yeah. Okay, what is that? Oof. I like it. Alright. Okay. Um, so, it's morning. I, I just, like... Yeah. Okay. The last thing you remember was getting a really good, like, back rack. Okay. Um, and you wake up, it's morning, you're in an alley. Um, your clothing is splattered in blood, and you are carrying a sack with, uh, roll a d10. Five. Um, five GP worth of, of, of an illegal substance. Can I make a perception check on what it is? Yeah. Say, uh, 22. Um, it's like a hallucinogen. Okay. Yeah. Do I still have all my stuff with me? You still have okay. all your stuff. There's okay. just blood on you, and you don't know whose it is or how it happened, but you just got blood on your clothes, and you have... You could sell this for 5 GP, or you could have a good time. Okay. Um, but anyway, uh, you... Uh, I imagine you just go to sleep, wake up. Yeah. Uh, wake up and go out and find bogs. Okay. Who curled a tree? Not okay. too far from the road, but... Not Can I see them? Either. Uh, I mean, unless you it can would be see sort through of walls. Camouflage. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, but you would imagine that, like, if he's not in here, he probably stuck around outside. So would you? But here's the thing: your clothes are splattered. Oh yeah, I tell the barkeep if my friend uh, shows back up, uh, I went out to go find another friend, find one of our other friends. He'll mm -hmm. know what I mean. Sounds good. Um, so you know that, like, you're gonna have to pass the guards. Right. Well, I have a spare. Uh, change of clothes. Okay. So, is it just like my shirt? 
Uh, yeah. Okay, I just... Uh, do a, um, do a dex check. That is going to be a 9. Okay. Well, actually, no, sorry, that's going to be a 11. Well, okay. it's a dex check, not a dex save. Oh, throw. then not. Okay. Um, as you're, like, changing, you don't change fast enough for someone not to see you, and there's, like, you get wolf whistled at, and top. then that's it. Okay. What? Bing 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 just says horses. horses. Wants to know how we're getting around. Uh, uh, we don't have any horses, no, I don't think. Not quite don't. yet. <laughs> but, oh, and that's so. a great idea, Bing Top. Meg says, put it into their mind. <laughs> uh, I mean, there are horses here, but they can choose whether or not to take some. Or buy some. Anyway. Uh, so, yeah. You exit, go, go join up with the rest of them. Yeah. Sounds All right. Good. We find each other. We're kind of camping out in the woods. Mm -hmm. I brought some food for uh, bogs. Good looking out. Thank you. I'm eating some, nice. I'm eating some dried jerky or something like that. I'm just chugging nice. water. Tiny little bears. <laughs> nice. Okay, then. So uh, is this alliance going to keep going, or are we done? I mean, uh, I need to find this dwarven brother. I have a new crusade. Uh Hey, you still got that journal you took on? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. At, at the Dead? Oh, yeah. So, okay, I got two journals here. I got this one that I can read and this one that I can't read. Can I make, like, a check to see if I, like, know what the, at least the language is? You can. Uh, investigation is going to be... Investigation is... Five, so 15. You've never... You haven't really seen here, this before. Here, let me see that one. Um, like, but because you haven't seen this language before... Um, you can gather it's something that like isn't a real like a real language. Mm -hmm. So it was probably something specific to him, right? That, or something written in code. Mm -hmm. Okay, well you can check it out. I'm gonna start reading the personal right. journal. So what does it look like to me? Same thing. Generally. Yeah, with the fifteen you... celestial. And other things. It's it's like in code pretty much. So okay. you would have to spend like a lot of time. Is it thieves can't? It's not. Damn it. It's... I just want to uh, start kind of trying to understand the first page. That's all. Like, just mm -hmm. to try to get an idea of what is the contents of this text are. Um, like, it's literally, like, like, what would this mean to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, you know? maybe if I could, I'm just trying to, like, you know, like, table of contents, title page kind of thing. Can I, like, start to discern maybe what would be on this just based on these symbols and stuff? I understand that I can't read Okay, it. I gotcha. Um... It doesn't really have any real format, but you can tell that, like, it's, like, there's, like, dates, um, essentially. Like, this day, this, this day, that. Um, not necessarily meaning, I don't want to le lead you to believe that it's a journal, necessarily. Are um, any of the symbols on the page reminiscent of the symbols that we saw on the ground? Um, not in this one. Yeah. But as you flip through, you can see on his journal, like in his like real person journal, yeah. that he's like, you know, discovered this, discovered that, right. you know, yeah. so and so. Um, well, do a uh, do a uh, perception. A reading check. Yeah. That's gonna be a fourteen. Um. So you, I imagine you probably are looking to for anything related to what happened. No, I want like the, all the like the personal like self deprecation. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I mean. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, he never names the person by name, mm -hmm. um, nor do you get like a, like, oh, he or she, it's just my contact. And that's all he refers to this information giver as. Like any location or geographical region or anything regarding that? Um, not really. He was super, super secretive of, like, he did not want to release any information. Do we know like it, what so. the contact was selling or giving or doing with um um the contact that... was more it was like a dropbox almost. Okay. Um and he would go like I went to my dropbox on this day for my next set of instructions. Okay. Um I give him back the book and I say, okay, anyways, so are we sticking together or what? Are I don't we know. doing some are we going our own ways? That's well Mags, I mean I'm I'm fine. Like we're we're there's a lot, like, there's a lot going on, a lot, a lot we need to figure out. Like, we, we just stumbled onto something big, but, like, we can't just be killing people. Like, we just can't be doing that. Ed, I get. Ed, I get. But, like, we did not handle that right. 
at all. And you guys left two dead bodies in the opening doorway. Well, you know, in our defense, in our defense... Seemed like a good idea. Yeah, seemed like a good idea. You were impersonating... And you know what? It seemed like a good idea. So. I kept asking what was what the plan. What do you want? What do I want? I'm just looking. I'm just looking to get by in this world. I like to bog. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to stay around here. And I really have no home to go back to, per se. So, um, I reckon I could help you find this. Hmm. No. I don't even know if I know what you're looking for. Me? Yeah. Oh, I'm I, I'm just looking to survive. I'm like, I'm Well, just... you said you were looking for a dude's brother, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. So I met this dwarf last night. Oh, my God. Coolest guy ever. Anyways, he can't. He's lost his brother. His brother, like, ran away or disappeared or something and looks just like him. You know, he's got that, like, stout, square face, you know, big beard. I'm describing oh, all dwarves at this point. <laughs> Getting a little, yeah. Oh. Uh, just golden hair, hazel eyes. Yeah, golden hair, hazel eyes. Actually, kind of a cute guy, not gonna lie. Um, and there's two of them. And there's two of them. I mean, more more than Mary. But more importantly, you like, I don't know, man, like, there's, I feel like there's something, like, some sort of veil, you know, or, like, some sort of distance you're putting between us. Like, what do you want? Like, when you saw this stuff, like, you freaked out. Like, I freaked out, because I didn't know what I was seeing, but it seems like, I don't know, you, you encountered this before? I know what it is. Are you a Ghostbuster? Hmm? Well, I mean, technically, you're all Ghostbusters. Well, now we are. Anyways, uh... I'm like the regular guy. That comes yeah. in. Do you need help? Because, I mean, I pull up the, the coin purse. I'm like, this was pretty lucrative. I'm not going to lie. Now, you guys are, seem to be pretty uh, handy in a fight. And if you guys got uh, things you want to do, it's probably better to... Especially, I like at Boggs. I don't really like... <laughs> he let That's Al go funny. and stuff like that uh. while he was helping me with the whole situation. <laughs> uh, especially you and I seem to be on a similar page in terms of uh, the way we feel about society and the mm. way society feels about us. Maybe we live you, in a you wear it a little bit more in your skin maybe than I do. Mm. Um, it is nice to be around those who understand. Um, that's That's good enough for me, but I just want to make one thing clear. Mm. Anyone who practices that kind of magic or is okay with that and enables people to practice that kind of magic, uh, I'm, I'm going to fight them. And I'm if they're unwilling to relinquish it, I'm going to kill them. I, I feel that. I feel that. But, like, I was freaking out, man. I was completely freaking out. Did you? Were you listening to him? Yeah. I know it was a hectic moment. <laughs> I, I was holding him. I he, felt him. Yeah, he was pretty explicit about what he wanted and how he felt about this. I get the feeling we'll see Al again. Dun, dun, dun. Bum, bum, bum. Well, Maybe say, with some parents. One thing I will say, though, is if he's got a Wait, contact, and there's, he's going like a, around, to a Dropbox situation, I could probably figure this out. Like, I got a network of guys. Might be able to figure this out. If you can figure out where it is, I can help out. I don't... But, I, Anyways, I'm willing to I'm willing to stick with you guys for a little bit longer. Um, I kind of look at Franz. But don't get in my way again, okay? Well, don't be killing people. Like again, again, that I get, but we could have handled Al differently. Listen, I'm not. I don't go around indiscriminately killing people. You know how many people I kill in my life? Two. Okay. All right. Ed and who's the other guy? And that's another story. <laughs> <laughs> but the point is, is, that's not really my thing. It's not what I'm interested in doing, okay? But I'm not going to hesitate when the time comes. You're ruthless. Okay, I feel you. I feel you. I'm just saying, we, we, we can be better at how we handle these situations. This is this is all new. Like, Ed was, I mean, Al was, he was figuring out what was going on just as we were figuring out things were going on. And that was his brother. He made his choice. But he was there. innocent. That's, we'll let that be in the but, past. But, but. Worthy of death? I mean, so I'm not, I'm not, I don't like the law at all, but I don't think he was, I don't think we needed to be judge, jury, and execution, executioner at that moment. We tried, we tried to reason with him. He made his choice, but anyways, it's in the past. You guys, so, if that hap, if, if we have any hint of anything like that happening, that's where my nose is going, okay? 
But you got something you want to do? I'm willing to help you out with it. I want to find this dwarf brother. Do you have any leads? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> kind of blacked out last night. Not my proudest well, moment. Well, well, I'll tell you one thing. The dwarf was real. I met him. Oh, yeah. He was, wasn't he so friendly? He was all right. I was pretty tired. It was... We had been up since the morning, and it was like 4 a.m. <laughs> so it's time to go to bed. Ah, uh, bed schmed. Now they're old. <laughs> so... So what's the party going to do? What's, what's your next point of action? You're currently outside of the town. So I want to go Mark, through... you got anything you want to do? Hmm. You, did you get valuable information from a... Uh, well, I would, were I would like around? to in investigate this uh, WWE, <laughs> WWI, Inc. Uh, company a little bit. Um, see what see what's going on around there. Uh, find out what's accounting for these um, questionable... Books. I don't know. I don't know anything about business speak. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna send a letter to back to my uh, guild master. See if they can figure out if any of these symbols. And I like quickly catch out some of these symbols. And I'm like, I'm a dorking. Right back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sounds good. Yeah. All right. Let's uh let's put a pause on that because it's 4:30 and I think that's a good stopping uh, point. Yeah. So let's let's talk. Yeah. Um, let's do it. So thoughts about stuff that happened today. I have some questions in general, based on thoughts that I had between last session and mm -hmm. this session. But since this session is fresh in our minds, I'm not sure if there was anything you wanted to talk about. Potentially. I'm going to use a restroom before we get full into the conversation. All right. Then I'll do that. I think today's, I uh, today's episode was kind of like a good example of trying to act as though your characters don't know other knowledge. You know what I mean? Like, for instance, mm -hmm. like, I, my character wouldn't have known that the, those bodies were in the front of the house or that there even were bodies. Yeah. And so, like, obviously that was a pretty big shock. And so even though I personally knew it, like, mm -hmm. you know, and if I had, you know, if I was being smart and I knew that, I would have, like, brought them around the back. Because I really, I wanted to have a conversation with them, mm -hmm. like, get them into the basement. Like, kind of, I wanted Al to understand what was going on. Mm -hmm. And then, like, you know, like, this isn't what you think it is, you morons. Mm -hmm. But instead, they just had to die because they <laughs> didn't have an opportunity to be scared straight. Because mm -hmm. Ed just went full evil right when he walked through the door, which is Not fair. You see really. that Ed, he tried to cast a spell right away. That doesn't mean he's evil. I mean, consider this. And because I spent a lot of time crafting him, and he didn't have a chance to have the character development that oh. I would do it. I'm sorry. But, We're sorry. you know, so. No, no, it's fine. This is. Part of what I love about D and D is like I could like for example with Corey's each person that I described in the end to him had a side quest mm -hmm. and like the one that he got he chose to go is like what I think is the most boring ass side quest out of all of them and he's just like Mirka <laughs> so but anyway um so as far as like the evil thing I mean consider the the character was just lured in by someone impersonating his mom, mm -hmm. and then he opens the door to see his parents' dead bodies. Just yeah. like, and I wasn't gonna drop and the respect. You know, yeah. So, like, of course, he's like, "What the fuck is going on?" So, the, mm -hmm. all I said was, "He went to do something." You don't know what that something was, mm -hmm. and then you blast his parents. So, of course, he's going to. Be, oh yeah, did you did do that. <laughs> <laughs> so, like. It's just funny how, because um, I understand, like, your character's course of action in that, mm -hmm. um, but it's also funny how, like, the perception of, oh, Ed is evil. I mean, he's an asshole. But well, he was evil. Yeah. But from Meg's perspective, that's, right. that's how, that, mm -hmm. like, there is nothing redeeming about him, mm -hmm. and he didn't want to stop. Um, and I'm not going to tell you the backstory because I'm not going to no. say that Ed, I mean, Al is going to come back or not, but in the right. case that he does, I don't want to. Yeah, no, uh, no, no, don't, don't, we should just talk about what happened, because that's all that matters. Yep. Um, yep. And so for me, like, but what I was saying is just, like, I was trying to act on as though my character had limited knowledge, like, and mm -hmm. had to react to a lot of these things happening in the moment. 
one thing I felt bad talking about, um, like gameplay disrupting narrative. Like mm -hmm. I felt really bad about taking away the slit the throat part because it was out of we were still technically in combat yeah. and you were we would have acted out of turn. And yes, you did kill him anyway, but I felt bad taking that away because we were still in combat. Do you remember what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, no, I know. So it was a good moment. I think that like those... I think that. Uh, I think that yeah, I think that could have been done a little better because I didn't feel like yeah. we were in combat. Mm -hmm. Like I, that was like out of because like that was a long time, a lot it of talking, was. a lot, of, and there was even maneuvering and like people were moving around and stuff. So then yeah. to be like, oh no, we're in combat. It's Al's turn now. It was kind of like right. It didn't. That didn't feel good as a player, but yeah, that's okay. It doesn't matter. The other thing that uh, like I'm curious about because like what's stopping anyone from going? So then I shoot something like. You know, like, if we are talking, then I go, like, oh, and then suddenly I throw, you know, something at Corey. Like, mm -hmm. assuming that we're playing D&D roles in real fucking lives like an idiot. Mm -hmm. um, like, at any point, what's stopping you guys from going, oh, I do this. And then mm -hmm. suddenly you get a surprise round. No. Just because, you, so. That's fine. There's that issue as well. Hmm. No, that's um, okay. I just, uh, yeah. I, it's more like, but, I understand that, like, I think that, like, that's maybe a fundamental problem with just the fun the system of D and D is like yeah. there's two there's before and after roll initiative and when you try to do things that belong before roll initiative after roll initiative every things yeah. can get messed up and so <laughs> sometimes you know you gotta really enforce that six second yeah. rule you know yep. yeah yeah because me like it just begs the question of like did we effectively at that moment stop combat or we were like Final mm. Fantasy style like cutscene in the middle of combat. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's the other thing, because talking is a free action. Yeah. So, um, like, the way that I see things is that there's the there's the initiative lineup. Mm -hmm. And when you talk, combat can effectively be put on hold while you yeah. talk. But because you've exhausted what you would have done at mm -hmm. that point, um, it continues in its, like, lineup, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. No, that's fine. To the next tier. Person. But no. Yeah. But that was one thing that I wish I had done better because, like, it was a very poignant moment. And I'm just like, ah. and, like, <laughs> a part of me, like, was ready to just let it happen and then effectively go into combat after that. Mm -hmm. But um, the way that I thought of it was, and the way that I justified that was, had I done that to you guys, where I took away one of your turns mm -hmm. in order to have my character or an NPC act. Right. No, no. It, there yeah, might have been. No, I'm not, I'm not mad about yeah. it at all. I thought it was reasonable. Yeah, but it's still a sucky thing. <laughs> um, any other thoughts about uh, in today's session? I think today was like a good example of like showing like diverging like morality systems and like mm -hmm. just, justifications of actions. Because uh, for me, like sitting there in that moment and I was grappling and just thinking of, Franz, okay, he's grappling this character who had not been a threat at all mm -hmm. the entire time. Yeah. Um, and so I'm just like, I, so I'm just like, Franz would not, he, he would take himself out of the equation. Mm -hmm. um, but is he really? I mean, his, I mean, his action is, Franz would think of himself taking himself out of the equation. I mean, right. his action clearly had consequences. Right. This both for Al and everyone else in the I party. I mean, he did effectively allow Al to survive by yeah. letting go. Mm hmm um, so I guess, yeah, I was just trying to, like, consider, like, you know, is standing by, is doing nothing, you doing, know. Doing, doing nothing is something, but that yeah. was Franz's choice. It's just, right. like, he couldn't justify, he couldn't justify in his very loose, loosey-goosey, like, system of morality, mm -hmm. like, killing this man. Ed, he got, because Ed was an asshole, and that's probably how Franz would justify it. He was an asshole yeah. to me, and also he was attacking us. Mm -hmm. Al was not. <laughs> Just saying. His first thing was to blind you guys, not to harm. And then you yeah. guys started wailing on him. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Anyway. <laughs> Ryan. Any thoughts about... Hmm. Um, yeah. I kind of... I, I go on with both of those things. I was trying to think about, you know, um, what my character would do. And I feel like the way I'm trying to play my character is someone who is very interested in his own goals, uh, but not not terribly interested one way or the other about um, the goals of his companions. Um, mm -hmm. 
you know, I could, uh, I was convinced that uh, these people should be stopped from, uh, you know, raising an army of skeletons and, and dead loved ones. Um, so, you know, I was... Uh, Who said love is dead? Right. <laughs> I think he would have been, I think he would have been, um, I think he would have seen sort of the justice in that in a, in a mm. cosmic sense, but... Um, you know, he was also okay with Franz sort of looting the house. It didn't really bother him one way or the other. And I kind of, I feel like it's sort of hard to roleplay that straddling the line. You know, I think it would be easier to be either, um, I don't know, morally um, against killing at all. Because then it's just mm -hmm. like, oh, no, I don't kill. I know how to play that. Or to be sort of maniacal and, and wanting to kill everything. Mm. Murder hobo. Yeah. <laughs> That's, oh, by the way, you all leveled up, so you oh, got that. Da, 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 um, yeah, we don't want to die from one hit from a specter. Okay. Let's see a roll D8. Well, no, not yet. Not, dude, oh, oh, we're, we're talking. Okay. Anyway. Um, so, something that Ryan said last week when you kept Thorn whipping all the time. Because it's oh, something yeah. that is reliable for you. Right. Um, so, wh like, where's the line between... Um, and th maybe there isn't a line, but doing a quote-unquote boring choice that makes sense logically or always trying to come up with something new? Like, is there that, like, pressure? And how do you deal with that pressure? I sort of um, ran into that a few times this game and um, was trying to think of, like, maybe what I what I could do that wasn't necessarily a, a, on my list of moves here, you know? Just either sort of maneuvering around the play space or, or doing something like... You know, like I, at one point, I tried to grab the dude's throat and um, interrogate him or whatever. That you failed tried to was uh, intimidate, but it was yeah, it did not work out so well. So, mm. yeah, I mean, I was trying to, I was trying to think of things that go beyond sort of just you know button mashing. Mm. Um, yeah, way. and I mean, and I and yeah, you know, like I, I have a pretty limited move mm. set still. So, well, it's just about to grow a little. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I forget who mentioned this, um, but talking about improv anxiety while doing the role play aspect of D&D. Because as a DM, I get that all the time. That's how, like, beer pits are formed. Right. Like, and when... actually that moment was, like, that's where I started to feel it. Because I feel like there's moments where, like, there is, um, it's very clear, like, the structure of the scene. Like, we yeah. knew how, like, I felt like I knew how to talk to Alan Ed in terms of my character. I knew the situation, whereas... And now I'm just talking to some random dwarf. I don't even yep. know what to ask. Yep. And I'm sitting here like, uh, I can't small talk in real life. And now yeah. I have to small right. talk as like seven different NPCs. Right. And so I, I felt that as well. I'm like, I'm not going to make yeah. you go through every freaking yep. like hobbit dwarf. Um, And so like those are like, those are moments like the, like the, the structured moments I feel pretty comfortable in. Cause we know it's like, we know it's at stake. Yep. Whereas the, the Mirka Birka moments are just like, ah, uh, are you important or not? Like, yeah. what is this really going to evolve into? Uh, yeah. Sometimes you just want to treat like a video game. It's like, tell me what to do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I felt at the end. You know, Eric's asking what you want to do. I'm like, continue mm -hmm. the story. What's the main quest? But well, I mean, you go to the next. And that's the that's the funny thing checkpoint. about like D and D is like there are certain conventions where you feel like there is like a main quest, right? and like. Yeah. I'm not going to tell you whether there is one or not. I'm not going to tell tell you what I have planned fine, based Birka. on this. Yeah. I told them while you were gone about Mirka and Birka, but I'm not going to ruin anything for you oh, unless it. you watch the stream for like the two seconds that you I were. I guess I'll here. have to. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, a lot of this is just like loosely based stuff, and mm -hmm. uh, so for example, um, when I first created this arc. I wanted Ed to be just like this unredeemable bastard, mm -hmm. but then I thought that's not interesting to yeah. have this like straw man villain essentially. Mm -hmm. So I developed, you know, more stuff that didn't come to fruition, unfortunately. But um, he as burned time, like a straw man, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I mean, the parents certainly didn't. Uh, but uh, you know, I'll have a plan today. And then mm. I'll be ready. And then, you know, we'll have a break. And over that week, stuff happens that changes 
you know, the narrative. So, right. um, I think it's, and going into, uh, unfortunately, you're not, are you in Lane's class? I'm not in Lane's okay. class. Um, we were talking about, like, forum theater mm -hmm. and unfinished scripts, which I feel is such, mm. like, D&D stuff. Oh, yeah. So I don't know if either of you two wanted to talk more about forum theater in relation to D&D. Because you had mentioned something in the class, and I was like, yeah, we have that as a discussion question. <laughs> um, and I didn't want to keep rambling, so I figured I'd let someone else talk a little. Sorry. No, no. Yeah. You uh, brought it up. Who wants to prove that they read our coursework better than the other? No. Uh, so if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask us. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't really have anything to say. Uh, well, <laughs> so, like, Forum Theater is, um, I think it was the uh, Boal. Yeah, no, for yeah, theater it's, it's Augusta Boal. Yeah. It's just... I'm having mean, trouble, like, because the contexts are very different. Like, one is it very is, explicitly yeah. political, and then yeah. the other is, you know, not saying that it can't be anything political about role playing or anything, but yeah. that that's an, I don't think that's our express purpose in playing here today. Right. Um, just in the con, just to understand the concept of forum theater, it's considered an unfinished script. Um, the audience. Are, can be the actor audience okay. um, and change essentially how the play goes. Mm. Um, so when I was doing that reading, my question was like, is D and D a, a form of forum theater? Because here is my loose script, and it changes not just by your interactions, but also me as the creator of it as yeah. the week goes on mm. and I have more time to think about it. Well, I don't know if this. I, I don't know. I mean, mm -hmm. this is the first term, time I'm ever hearing this term, but I think what the things you can do is like you have all this um, stuff like on Ed mm -hmm. that can be like put into this journal, yep. like that. We so like he's dead, but he can like live mm -hmm. on in that like work. I, think, I guess I'm about in terms of work can live on in that regard. Um, I mean, it's a it's the DM's burden to have like all this stuff done and worked out. But if like the players decide not to go down that route, oh yeah, like they are like. I got, I, that's why I made that joker. Like, oh, we just leave. <laughs> just effectively ruining it. Yeah. So, again, I don't know if that's that addresses form theater at all, but I, I, I really, I think that's what's fun mm -hmm. about D and D is that there's a, that element of unpredictability. Like, it's you have like mm -hmm. kind of it's sandboxy in that sense. Mm -hmm. um, nice discussion questions beyond that. So as car as there's always the like ha have either I know you have but have either of you done dungeon mastering before? No. Okay. Um, here's something that I would uh, be curious about because um, before I actually started dungeon mastering, I thought it was way too much work that I would never understand how to do, and there's way too much <laughs> prep and everything. Like I was scared to do it. So mm -hmm. like as a player, what do you think uh, goes into dungeon mastering? Who has not dungeon mastered before? What do you, th what do you think it looks like on the other side of the screen? Imagine it's a bunch of monster stats. That, yeah. Yeah. Imagine it's just a lot of like loose notes, like you have kind of some contingency plans. Mm -hmm. you, know what I mean? you, ha you have like kind of like the details of the scene. Like if you say there's a crate or something, you probably have an idea of what's in that crate. Um, and it's really fun, like also as a player to get the DM to the point where, like, where you're going off script. Yeah. I imagine it's, like, it's very much uh -huh. like a very loose script. I imagine if, going back to the idea of plays, it would look more like a um, stage manager's version of a play script mm -hmm. rather than just, like, you know, you just pull up some Bill. Yeah. Some Bill Shakespeare, and that's what you have. I imagine there's more than just exude chased by a bear. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when you talk about details, so one thing that I noticed last week was and it could have when we didn't meet. What? Oh, sorry, two weeks ago. <laughs> um, and I could have just been. This was the first time you guys are all playing together on mm -hmm. stream, and you know you weren't in, you know, the D and D mindset. Got to roll and look at stuff. Yeah. Um, but on the rooms that I gave a lot of description in, there weren't a lot of roles in character. Like you didn't go. I do a perception check. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, whereas the ones where I went, you're in the music room, they, and they're like, well, what's in it? Yeah. You know, like, I'll do a perception check. 
Uh, so um, I have the que I have a question of like how much detail is enough? How much is too much? How much hmm. to you know is it good? I thought I saw like hor there was horses and I thought that they sent another one that said houses and I'm like what? Hmm. Um, anyway. Houses for horses. You know that's a stable. Um, so like details in a situation. Like, I gave you a description of, uh, the different people. Yeah. And the one that I just happened to talk about a little bit more is the one that you went to. It's also the last one, and I was, like, trying to remember everything yeah. you just said. Uh, that's why I kind of asked my follow-up question is, like, the ask for tension. Because then that's right. what, what I would be most mm -hmm. interested in is, like, playing that out as opposed to, like, going to that elven merchant with the worn-out clothes. I'm like, I don't even know how to approach this person. Oh, man. Missed out. Could have, could have been something. Could have been a shirka. Who knows? <laughs> God damn it. Um, I think, like, for me, that begs the question of, like, what mm -hmm. is perception? Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, I walk into the room, and then I just plainly see the room. Like, mm -hmm. what, what then is, what makes that different than perception? Because I feel like sometimes yeah. perception gets, like, rolled into, like, eyesight. Like, how well, like, is your yeah. eyesight mm -hmm. working in this room? Yeah, What I guess what mm -hmm. I would expect is, like when we look into a room or something that you would say something like you know okay you open the door and make a perception check right like because we're like walking in the room we're looking around i don't i guess i don't expect the dm to be like oh hey you know if they're interested in this room they'll they'll say they want to make a perception check i always imagine that at least when i dm i try to make it so my characters i actually say don't ask to make checks say what you do and then I'll mm -hmm. tell you what check to make. Mm -hmm. And so it, because of that, like, you know, I assume if my characters are opening a door or like heading down a new passageway, mm -hmm. if, you know, you'll ask me to make a perception check if I'm looking around, right? I don't mm -hmm. feel like I need to say that, but maybe I do. Mm -hmm. um, that's how I feel about perception. I've always, and I always delineate perception and, and investigation. And perception mm -hmm. is like what you just notice, generally speaking, mm -hmm. while investigation is, you know, your ability to, um, like logic, deduce things from mm -hmm. what you're seeing, you know, and, and use that information of what you're seeing to some degree. Yeah, investigation for me always meant like I was looking for something in particular. Mm -hmm. um, but then it still begs the question of like, what per how perception can serve the game. So yeah, so like I guess to me when like we opened up a supply closet and you were just like, it's a supply closet. That mm -hmm. was my perception check. Like that's how I feel uh, about okay. it. Like you felt like there was so so little. Inter of so little of interest in this room oh, you see. said that and like that's what my character saw and that they didn't need to make a roll because this room is that boring they've looked in the room okay. that they saw what they saw there's nothing else here like I feel like you know like if, so yeah. the way that I see that is like y you know what it is but what do you, what do you notice in it so mm. there, I was um about to drive my friend um I we leave the house I go to my car like I always do. I get in the car and I see my friend standing outside. She goes, Kelly. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, so I, I roll down the window. I'm like, what's going on? She goes, your car. And I'm like, it's running. It's turning on. She goes, no, come outside. So I go outside and my bumper is completely just like obliterated. Mm -hmm. um, I later found out that my mom borrowed it and some asshole like backed into it and she pulled it all the way up to the front of the driveway because she planned on having me not notice it knowing that I don't notice <laughs> shit um, and she was going to get it fixed before I noticed because she didn't expect me to have to drive my friend that day mm -hmm. um, so like my the way that I see it is I know my car is there I see my car is there I don't have I don't perceive that there's anything off with my car had I done a little you know like so if I had quote unquote rolled well on perception I was seeing like, oh it's a supply closet and there's there's actually a full box of like rations, you know, so if you try to like look a little hard and if you investigate, oh those rations actually are poison, you know, something like that. Okay. That's okay. how I see things. Um but that's also getting into like metagaming versus DM strategies. Yeah. And so I think it's interesting that like even just like on a set set of rules, um just the way the DM operates can sort of it can have a, a huge effect on the way that the the rules sort of enact mm -hmm. or are enacted. Um, 
Because I can see both ways. They both make sense to me. If you had told, if we had walked into that closet and you said, roll perception, and we all failed, then we would know that there was something in that closet, maybe, unless you did that for every room. And if you did it for every room, I can see how that could get really cumbersome and, and sort of impede the, the storytelling. I mean, it's not so cumbersome. Like, for example, think of the bodies in the freezer. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, you guys walked in, you look, you were at, like, and I actually specified, like, do you go in? And you went, like, no. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah. all right. I mean, that was so, ours. Yeah. So you opened the door, you did a perception check. It was the first go, room, though, right? So it like, was. Were... It was the, it was, like, one of the first rooms. And you opened up, and you did a perception check, and I don't think you did a I don't think we good. even did a perception check. I think we opened up. I'm like, and you're just like, oh, there's like, there's meat. It's a freezer right. with meat hanging in it. Yeah. Right. And I'm like, we're like, okay, cool. And then we were just done with mm -hmm. it. Yeah, that's like another example of what I was yeah. saying before, where that felt like the perception check was made for me already. Gotcha. Mm. I see the way that I see it is unless you roll to like look harder, mm -hmm. you're only gonna get what you're gonna look see from a cursory look around. Like so, okay. for example, if I look around here, I'll notice that there's walls. There's a whiteboard, there is a cabinet. But like, oh, that whiteboard actually is a little bit old. and So it's for particulars? Yeah. Okay. So okay. yes, that uh, that freezer had hanging meats in it, but like, and then I asked like, do you go in? Because if you had gone in, then you would have been able to like, see without necessarily having to have right. a perception check yeah. to... Trip over a body. I think, as, as like, as a, as a novice player, there's, mm -hmm. um, sort of a hesitance a hesitancy on my part to not really want to drag uh like mm. you know like really checking out that that supply closet to make sure that there's nothing in there when you're like eh, there's nothing in there i'm like okay there's it's clearly not important uh -huh. but maybe maybe i'm maybe i'm um I guess I'm trying to not necessarily say it's not important but i'm trying to like encourage mm. roles mm -hmm. and stuff like that like mm -hmm. um uh, when you roll to investigate the um, uh, Ed's body, like you rolled well enough where you were able to get more stuff out of it. Like so, I always think that rolling to find things is good because you always find a little bit extra. It may not, mm -hmm. it, it may not necessarily advance the plot, but like mm -hmm. you'll get a couple of extra GP here and there, or this cool little thing, you know. So stuff like that. Yeah, that fancy watch. I'll take that dice too when you get the chance. Um, oh, yeah, the loaded one. Yeah. Which is funny. Uh, yeah. your, your green. The character does have loaded yeah. die. That it's kind of heavy. Um, so, as player characters, yeah. like you talk about looking for the next quest. Um, yeah. do you, are you, like, are you a sandboxer? Are you looking just to get a nudge in the right direction? Like, what sort of... Well, that's what I was trying to figure out when we were doing the whole Mirka situation. Is like, is this, like, again, in video game terms, which is, uh -huh. I think, sometimes, like, a kind of a terrible box to put your head in as a player. Yeah. Is like, is this potentially a quest giver? Mm -hmm. And you kind of gave it to me, because I think that's you felt like that's what I was searching for mm -hmm. in a weird way. Um... Yeah, I mean, because right now we, we have we have all this. We have, you know, Al out in the run. And then we have, I guess, like, you're just, like, you're going out and, I'm assuming, searching to put this kind of spell to the end. It's just, like, how do, like, how do we, what is our reason for us as a group to, like, stick together? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't feel like we have a good reason right now, except for that we're playing this game. So, like, <laughs> yeah. We kind of need to. Well, I guess I need to get a, a plot hook then. <laughs> oh, um, come on, guys. I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying that it's, uh, you know. Like... <laughs> we gotta find Birka because he's clearly so important. <laughs> it's a key uh, to everything. Yeah. There's a, uh, what was that one? I shared this meme a while back where it's just like, oh, there's this, like, super important looking guy, and then there's, you know, Nobby the Goblin. And I'm, I want to talk to Nobby the Goblin. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's, and. You know, whether intentionally or unintentionally, it happens sometimes. Like, you, you know, I, it's, and I feel like a lot of it goes in the way, into the way that the DM presents things as much mm -hmm. as we're trying to, like, not, like, I don't want to ever rail, railroad people into things, mm -hmm. yeah. but you also don't want to leave it so open that you're like, I don't know what to do. Yeah, because it was like, what, there was another tavern, there was the inn, mm -hmm. there's other buildings wouldn't even ask if that they were there, like, this town, mm -hmm. and like, when walking in, it's like, I don't know where to 
go because I'm not from yeah. here. Um, I think, yeah, the nice thing is to feel like you have options, but to have, like, options be relatively clear. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. um, in a campaign I'm running right now with my mm -hmm. players, um, what I try to do, I don't know if this is successful or not, but they got to this new town, they were looking for this particular um, NPC, and mm -hmm. um, while they were there, like, someone had heard about another good deed they were in, like, recommended they go talk to the knights. And the knights were like, hey, we had this bandit problem up north. And they went and found the, the NPC they were looking for. And the, mm -hmm. one of the professors at this wizard's college was like, hey, you know, I, I got this, there's this artifact below in the sewers beneath the college. I would like you to go get it for me. Mm -hmm. And so that way they're just like, you pull in two directions, mm -hmm. do one of those. It's kind of like kind of sandboxy because, like, they have an option of what to do. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. it's also like... A little handholdy, and for mm -hmm. those players who are very new, like have never played D and D before, mm -hmm. like it's very. I need to hold their hand, otherwise they get really. They're like they don't know what to do at all, mm -hmm. and so that worked out well. But like, so that's like an example of another, uh, like kind of like trying to mix the two, and it doesn't yeah. always get successful, you know. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Uh, we've got a minute left. Any closing thoughts? Or reconvene next week. Don't know. I don't have any no more polar vortex. <laughs> oh God, I think we're I think we're good. Hopefully, I hope so. yeah, yeah. This that was the, rough. The intervening like, intervening week um, was it was a little weird to come back and like try to get into it. I think I think that's kind of where the propping the corpses up came from. Because it was like I, I don't fucking know what we were doing. Like, yeah, look, let me we this thing. Up. Like we were gonna do this, and yeah, uh, we took a long. Happen. We took a lot longer. Like I legitimately thought we'd be done with the brothers within like the first hour. Yeah, totally. me too. Yeah. And so I think that like having the week off definitely hurt. Like yeah. it just felt like I thought like it was pretty clear I was gonna go. Yeah. Like I thought I was gonna be on my way yeah. at the start of the episode, and then instead it was like literally like I didn't leave for like forty five minutes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, it happens. Yeah. Right. No, no, it's not a bad thing. But yeah. it's, it's an example of D and D's a game you hopefully are playing <clears throat> at a regular pace. Yeah. So that way you're able to stay in the mindset of what was going on. I think. Uh, yeah. And it, yeah. I think sort of having. Actually, I don't know. I was going to say having sort of a, a wide open path in front of us next time might be a little easier to get into, but um, mm -hmm. it might be worse. Who knows? Well, I'm going to give you guys a hook next. time. Yeah. Woo! All right. All right. So, so we're Thank you, up you everyone, for joining. Thank and you, we'll guys. see you next week. Um, uh, do you mind hitting uh, stop recording? Stop streaming.